everyone to the Bowcast Podcast. I'm your host Caleb Kane, joined by a bunch of people today. First off, Anacor, you know, falling apart here. Did not do the clown <laughs> mask. He's, he's he owes me three weeks, right? I was really hoping uh, for three, the clown fit today, yeah, but uh, I've, I'm packing for Greece, and it's been a lot. Dude, my Just man's going to be dressed yeah. up as clown the new GBL uh, season too, um, yeah, at this rate. And then we're joined by Tomahawk UK and then Two O Butters as well, both previous guests on the podcast. Uh, at Butters was on episode ninety two and Tomahawk's on episode one seventeen. If you didn't catch those and want to listen back, but welcome in, guys. How y'all doing? Uh, yeah, good. Thanks. How you guys doing? Good to be here. Not too bad. Uh, I know Tua Butters is doing some last minute cramming for his assignment today. <laughs> but uh, the whole thing is last minute. You said last night to make this list. How is that? Do you know what? Yeah, if it makes minute. you feel any better, I don't actually understand the assignment. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I think I changed the rules halfway through the assignment, and then right. I just went through it. So I, I think everyone it. might have a different assignment here. Gosh, yeah. it's, it's the blind leading the deaf here. But uh, all right. Well, anyway, we'll we'll talk more about that stuff in a little bit. But let's let's just do quick intros for Tom Hawk and Butters. Uh, for those that don't know who they are, uh, two actually official casters. Uh, Tom Hawk, who's who was actually brought on to be official caster since the last time we had you on. But yeah, how's it going? Uh, you're also a recent streamer too. Uh, the the new uh, you know how to get into BP one on one guy. Yeah, it's it's going well. I think I've tried to take this season as an opportunity to start that transition from from competing to. To creating content and things, I think casting gives you a lot of confidence when when you're in front of screen and when you see people in chat and you know they're positive. I was like, do you know what? Why don't I just start start doing and this doing this on uh, on on Twitch and and obviously there's been conversations about accessibility in the game. So I was like, sure, I'll I'll pick up that topic then and I'll do everyone a favor. But I'm enjoying it so far. I think it's going okay. Yeah, we talked a lot about accessibility last week too. I haven't gone to the YouTube comments yet, but I'm sure. Some people might disagree with my takes on it, but that being said, uh, we got we got two of butters as well. Uh, second First time off, out here, but I want to be introduced as top five in the world in the GBL leaderboard. Two of butters, uh, down. it's okay for, uh, okay for messing that up, but I'm just uh, kidding. Uh, no, I, uh, uh, you bring that, don't bring that Gujar to LA. That's all I'm telling you. I'm trying to save it's you from solid, O2. man. It's super solid, but if you uh, if you haven't tried in show six yet, then you're not ready for LA. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Dude, it's good, it's a good pick, but yeah, I, I, I cast. For the championship series, I've been doing it for two years now. It's been a really awesome experience, and I, I do stream sometimes. I've been streaming more lately. As you can see, I'm, I'm preparing to compete in L.A., so I'm trying to play a lot more. And actually, this week is going to be my first week scrimming things. I've been playing a lot of GBL, but yeah, just a caster, streamer, and happy to be here. All right, so do you know what? This is something stream? for both of you. Yeah. Because, yeah. Butters, your VODs are never on. Yeah. Yes. So, so, if you don't catch the stream, that's it. Yeah, I'm like a ghost. I'm like a shadow. Well, he it's don't like want it. people sniping his strats, I guess. Afterwards. Yeah, no, is this on purpose. I, I actually have. I think I have the the vods to auto save now, but for the longest time I didn't. But I should have the last couple streams. You could you could see the vods. So okay. which. Because obviously I gave up before then. Yeah, 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 you, yeah. Butters yeah. is a boomer. He's older than me, right? So he's yeah. uh, he just he just doesn't know how to figure out technology. Is how yeah, I, I didn't even realize it was a problem. Like, you were, like <laughs> someone told me recently, and I'm like, wait, why, why can't you see the vods? And I'm like, wait, oh, you actually can't see the vods. And then I don't have a huge demand for my vods. I'm gonna be honest. So it's not like yeah, people are know, like, hey, Butters, nobody... where are the vods, bro? So I just now realized that I don't have them. So I I, I think I should have them. Up. Uh, at least enough, i know enough. i for sure have one from like that recent panel stream i did be interested to watch and then uh, like the reason this links to you farid is because i think whatever you're doing on twitch uh i beg upload it to upload the vod to youtube as well isn't it yeah i think i'm, I'm thinking different about market that. and then also it stays forever in it i feel like stuff on twitch it, it doesn't feel like it's there forever i know you can put like highlights and stuff like that but even then like when you put a highlight unless you know you're looking for that it kind of get gets lost, you know what I mean? And so yeah, I, like, I'm I'm still getting into the rhythm of things, just into the rhythm of being 
on my own camera talking to myself. Once I, I feel like I've got the rhythm, I'm definitely going to do, do YouTube. But you know, like I'm a bit of a perfectionist. If I'm, if I'm going to post on YouTube, I want it to be clean and intended for YouTube. And at the moment, it's just very raw, unscripted Twitch stuff. So but we'll get there. We'll get there. Don't you, don't you wait. Start, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Don't you worry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, that's, that's good advice. So YouTube honestly has better discovery too. Twitch discovery is pretty trash overall. So that's why I see some of these YouTubers just like blow up uh, after a while. TikTok apparently really good too. That's where Pokey Dicey got uh, made it pretty big uh, until TikTok might be eliminated from the United States soon. But that's a, yeah, that's a different topic for a different day. That's yeah, so we'll mad. see how you, you lot live in a different world. Oh, my TikTok actually. potential just out the window now. <laughs> I was going to yeah, make it big yeah. there. <laughs> It's not the bad, not bad, bad, bad place. I mean, a Drake and Meteor Gudra. That sounds like pretty good TikTok content. You yeah, you, you could dance to that. Yeah, <laughs> it won't make good at LA regional content. I'm just saying that. Do you know what uh, impresses me most about Butters' streams is that when uh, you stream, you actually climb. You do really well. When I stream, nope. I'm so distracted. I'm just tanking like there's no tomorrow. Well, th this is not true because I often lose a lot on stream. I think it's actually I'm surprised too that I usually don't stream and gain rating especially like a high elo sometimes if you're like you know you're a lower elo you're probably going to gain some rating no matter what so i'm just as shocked to you uh, as you to be honest because that's usually not the case for me i don't think i've literally ever gotten top 100 while streaming like it's never happened so I, i'm as shocked as you it's 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 very <laughs> it's very hard to play well because you really care about what people are saying in chat you care about answering their responses and then if your focus is split you're just going to play much worse so i actually don't know how some people like it's axon and and some other players that have been recently streaming high gbl leaderboard how they keep it up consistently but don't feel bad because i guarantee you if you ever see someone like getting towards like maybe like higher in the leaderboard their stream goes away for like five days or so. Not a lot of people are like trying to like also push and stream. It's mostly just trying to play the games and like, you know, I don't know, try to get better. And what you're doing is awesome. Being able to like teach, teach the game as well. I oh, appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, no, definitely. Well, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how long butters last on the GBL leaderboards. Wait, is there still GBLA? Are you are you going to be playing GBLA or? Oh, they, it's like, not a thing GBLA anymore. disappeared for time. Is it like they didn't gone, do the gone? last finals? They didn't do the last finals. Yeah, it's been it's oh, been like over a season. Dude. Oh wow! I think it's you been know, two seasons. It's actually really reminiscent. Oh no, no hate on Nightway, man. I love the guy, but he used to be my producer for the other podcast he used to do, um, since or Aglets, and we recorded a final episode, and he never <laughs> produced it. <laughs> <laughs> back in 2022 <laughs> so so uh yeah similar vibes similar vibes i wonder if something else happened there similar to gbl because i know he's producing that too but anyway you know it is what it is we'll see maybe he's a big seinfeld fan and he was just traumatized how the seinfeld finale went so bad and so whenever it gets to the finale, no finales he's yeah. like, i'm out i'm not i'm not making that mistake yeah. maybe open the keep the door open for future seasons who knows yeah yeah exactly exactly yeah uh, well, I know uh, Butters is prepping for the LA regional, but I got a brief update for y'all on the championship series. I know there weren't any like regionals or anything like that, but let me just say I had to come clean too. But I finally qualified for Worlds this weekend. Oh, no, <laughs> hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't realize okay. you were. Is it actually like yeah. in the in the books official? Yeah, it's in the books official. It's oh, on okay. the website, Congrats, leaderboards. Man. Yeah, yeah. So, so I I tweeted back at UIC when I made top cut. I tweeted that qualify for Worlds. But I actually did my math wrong, <laughs> and I was sixteen points off. <laughs> so we had a we had a cup in a challenge this past weekend, and uh, we had another cup on Sunday. But I knew I couldn't make the Sunday one, so it's like I just need to win this cup to qualify. You know me, I won it. So, but uh, wait, so you you official. played it this weekend, and it's already in the books. Yeah, they entered it quick. Oh, well yeah. done, well done. Yeah. So uh, congrats, I qualified, congrats. yeah, and then uh, Ramberto qualified, and um, Eight the Great, a local of mine, also qualified. Oh, that's awesome! And then uh, X Gerald is one point away. <laughs> he's oh, at wow. forty four ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, he's been dancing like he qualified. I saw him break dance on Twitter. Yeah. He's, he's got Ooh. the moves. He does. Well. It's actually his birthday today. Actually, his birthday is on Monday. So happy, happy birthday. birthday, Gerald! Happy Gerald's birthday, one Gerald. of my yeah. one of my favorite players in the championship series. Yeah, take a guess at how old he is. I, I saw on the I I know so I'll go last because I literally saw. On I'm the gonna tweet. go either 26 or 36. 
<laughs> do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I get it's going to be I one of those two, isn't it? Yeah. I get what you say. Right. I mean, sure. I'll say thirty-one then, because it's in the middle. I think he turned thirty years old today. Yeah, thirty. Oh, yeah, oh. that's a pretty good guess. Tom Hawk. Yeah, no, thirty. So, you know, bones are still loose. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, that's true. Anako, um, you're you're qualified for worlds as well, or? Nah, man. You know what? You know what's mad? <laughs> yeah, you know what's mad as well. Yeah. So basically. Uh, like me and my brother were like, okay, cool. Over the next month, we got to do like all these locals. We were like pending them in. And uh, this weekend, I won't be here because I'm in Greece. And then, so I was like, okay, I'm I'm missing the like the double that's happening this weekend. I was like, no problem, next week. Yeah. And I haven't booked a return from Greece. And then I was looking at the dates and I was like, okay, so there's a challenge on Friday and a cup on Saturday. In Greece, but I could also nah 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 in oh. London, but I'm like, but I could also still be in Greece at that time as well. So I've decided I will stay in Greece. Yeah, however, I'm just gonna do extra practice so that the locals that I do when I do get back, I'll be in more preparation. Tom, Tom well, you gotta gatekeep my... him. Gate, gatekeep him. <laughs> that's, <on this>. I, <laughs> that's my well, like. Caleb. Anakul Gates a kid gate keeps himself. Okay. <laughs> sure. Like, you know the expression, you're your own worst enemy? This is I've never seen someone yeah, yeah. more true. Brav- <laughs> look, look, okay, you see how nice it was out, out today, right? Yeah. yeah it's been yeah, really yeah. nice in good. London over like today and maybe a bit of yesterday, yeah. Yeah. Bro, imagine a whole week of that. This is the thing. So, he's just I, I don't know that's gonna be better by PvP. anything. Right? What, what was that? Yeah, what's yeah. the P V? <laughs> There's nice nah, weather in LA all the time. Weather, weather like, boosted, like what's going yeah. on? Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's the goal. That's the goal. Maybe that's why Butters is doing so well. He's in uh so he's in California, you know, with great weather. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. I think so. I think that helps. But anyway. yeah, I'm just gonna do loads of locals when I get back. So. Wait, how many points are you overall out of four hundred? I think I still need like seventy. I got like three hundred and thirty or something. Oh, it's not bad. You should, it's not you not should bad. be able to do are you, are you playing Stockholm or Bologna? I'm going Bologna, yeah. Okay. So you so, still might need seventy without Bologna, so just in case do your local. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, the regionals don't okay. give you a lot of points in general, so yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I, I'll, I'll be going to a few of the. If Butters qualifies the before you, then you know you messed up. You true, messed up. True, yeah. but also, you but wait, Butters, won. have you even done any? Have you got any points? I got zero points ever. So he's I'm never be, even played in a local. Yeah, I'm gonna be literally the lowest seed possible. I'm gonna face it's Axon round number one, so that's gonna be a fun first round it's matchup. Tough. But oh, yeah, so literally, literally elite zero number uh, right after that. Yeah, yeah. yeah elite I right mean, realistically, that. if you don't beat them, then you're not qualifying anyway. So. True. Yeah, it's like it's yeah, like I mean, the Lakers playing the Nuggets in the first round, yeah. but they just lost. <laughs> <laughs> <Everybody, laughs> <everybody, laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's just taking a, a harder road for sure. Um, all right, let's talk about some events real quick before we get into the tiered list we have for this week. Uh, but we have a Rivals event that's happening starting this upcoming weekend on Saturday, the 4th, uh, going till Thursday. And our favorite of... bonus, what? 10 times Catch XP candy? when you spin a... Oh, oh gym, yeah, it's been a photo that. disc at gyms. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Racking in those, uh, I don't know, how, yeah, how much yeah. experience is that? What, 500? What I do you get know. for spinning a photo gym? Uh, no 50? Idea. I don't know. Uh, that's a weird one. Yeah. That's a weird one. Uh, we have a bunch of PP related sponsors, which is why I think this one's particularly important. So we got stuff like Mankey, a little Sandstrew, although you typically want the Shadow, but you got Poliwag, um, a Chop, I would say, is that PP relevant, Gligar. Which is nice, and then Licky Tongue, and maybe Galarian Stump is lucky. Although Galarian Stump is pretty spicy these days overall. Um, but, but I yeah, would still then, recommend picking up those, right? Like get them now. So that yeah, you get, you get them I, I still would just because you never know. Like maybe the next update, Galarian Stump is gets like exact scorching sands or something. I don't know, and then mm. it's all of a sudden it's relevant. And I feel like one thing also, stat product is the most overrated thing I think in championship series. So. When you're catching these makeys, I feel like first off, everyone has attack, attack weighted annihilate because everyone wants to win charge attack priority. Also, <laughs> don't, uh, don't say everyone. Speak for yourself, man. <laughs> also, also, there's a key, there's a key break point against Lickitung that you can hit offensively and oh defensively. I think the buzz didn't wait, get wait. the memo that uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. you're on the wrong show. <laughs> you're trying to the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Look, when it, you run uh, your high attack and I life against me in a, LA, you see what happens. <laughs> I'm ready. But, this guy yeah, doesn't I mean, believe in breakpoints. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, okay. like 
Well, there's you know, like flat earthers, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're inconsistent. Yeah, yeah. He, Caleb's yeah. like the equivalent of a flat earther, yeah. So I'm not a flat. What do you mean? I'm a flat book. earther. What do you mean? <laughs> High rank is proven to be good. All right. Yeah. Great point. Both points is the more skeptical, like the the conspiracy theory side of things. <laughs> he doesn't yeah. believe in chi. Yeah. Yeah, you, can, you can join me you can join me for break points and bulk points because i love them but no, I can't you can join really... anacor too anacor's on that train too I, I, I i've been i've been talking about high attack annihilate since it was released right i ran one in liverpool you know i had zero i had zero hp on that annihilate so yeah uh, yeah i'm well, all about it, that life it's because like generally a stat product like is flipping maybe like two to three matchups on the edges if you have like really good stat product but so can a break point or a bulk point and it just it just matters which matchups do you actually care about so you go into each pokemon and do you actually care about different matchups hitting a defensive break point and sometimes yes i can i can see on caleb's side sometimes there's a lot of guesstimate because if you just look at the rank one on pv poke and say oh i hit the break point against that what is the odds that you're actually just going to be battling that rank one you're going to be battling against a whole spectrum so you actually have to need to find out if you can guarantee the breakpoint. But if you can guarantee a breakpoint, it's real, Caleb. It's real. If I blame Axit. I blame Axit's <laughs> Medi Slayer stuff because that after that, all the all the breakpointers like yeah. felt validated. You know what else Axit had on his world team in Yokohama? Rank, rank one Alolan Sand Slash. Shadow. That's right. He had a rank yeah. one Shadow Low Sand Slash. Right? Ain't no one talking about how high stat is bad there. So yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, no. I don't know if I count a bulk points really going to help you there, in it, but. Uh, not, not against a meta champ, right? But at most, you have one counter using on each team. What about the other five Pokemon that's got bulk ones against? All I'm saying is look at all your Mankeys. Don't just look at the high stat product one. Look at all of them because, especially for Primate, there are some other options out there. What's, yeah. what's the dream spread, uh, Tomahawk? 13 8 0. Okay, 13, I'm, glad eight, you, zero. I'm glad you shared it because I, I wasn't sure. Like someone else told me it. Yeah, I that's hope, that's the one. I, I hope I, everyone I, listening gets a 13 8 0. <laughs> annihilate Look. and then when they get stomped using it they can blame tom hawk right yeah, yeah you can you can look come into my stream i talk about annihilate all the time because i think it's the most important thing you should be catching Mankey is the most important pokemon you should be catching right now and it doesn't matter what your spread is right this 1380 can do certain things high bulk can do other things just catch your Mankey, build your annihilate it's good can I second that real quick because there is actually literally one reason i think gudra is good in gbl is it's because it's the only dragon that beats Night Slash Annihilate. And if you can't beat Night Slash Annihilate on a lead or a safe swap, you're dead on arrival in this GBL meta. Like, honestly, if you have, like, Dragonair, Shadow Dragonair, you lose. If you have Shadow Dragonite, Shadow Dragonite even loses. Guzzlord loses. Everything that is Dragon loses to Night Slash Annihilate. And if you do that in GBL meta, I'm not sure if it's the same in, in Show 6. You guys know that way better than me. But... So as, times, as an official commentator yeah so many times well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just giving you guys credit for competing but i'm so in gbl literally so many of the leads are annihilate and so many of the safe swaps are annihilate and if you lose the night slash annihilate in your lead you're not climbing that's how wait I so can you can you counter swap a night slash annihilate with gudra and win that or no yes you can yeah okay yeah it, no, but, i'll keep, I'll but, keep that in mind when i see you in la i'll keep but, that in mind but uh i'm not sure i'm not i only know the ones and twos i think i think they'll if they actually go Shadow I, i'm not sure the zeros if they go straight uh, night slash they always go straight night slash i've like never literally never been shadow balled and no one runs ice punch except for nighttime but uh yeah if if you don't beat nighttime or if you don't uh, i i got i got nighttime in my head sorry <laughs> yeah, if you don't beat night slash right now <laughs> annihilate in this meta i feel like you're probably like neutrally like like that's your goal in this meta and at least, at least my process like thought process i'm com competing for la okay all right well, well we'll we'll see how that goes well great time for butters the gbl as well because we get uh four times or sorry extra sets for go battle weekend as well this saturday and sunday what is that 100 a day 20 all right five to 20 yeah 100 yeah. battles per day that's the intense one. Eh? Hey, you don't even have to sit in queue times that much anymore, Butters. You're just face like the same person like five times every hour. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I have the, I baked the negative set, so I might be lower by then. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I see how this. Claim it after the, the leaderboard, right? So yeah, you can yeah, get yeah I already claimed it. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think that's mostly it for this event, but uh, it's a good one, especially if you're trying to build a competitive team or just trying to get your, your dream and I life spread. 
maybe we'll, we'll we'll touch back with Tom Hawk next week to see if he actually found it or not because uh <laughs> I know you've been. He has it. I can tell by his eyebrow raise. He already has it. <laughs> oh, oh, do you? Oh. I, can, I can. I can neither confirm nor deny. Oh, okay, okay. He, I have it too, yeah. Tomahawk, but it's level nineteen. So I remember Tomahawk breaking it down. <laughs> oh, in, oh, it's uh, level nineteen. That's heart. That is heartbreak. Yeah. For anyone, yeah. for anyone who's not sure, you need probably sixteen and a half. Yeah, your, something like level. that. Maybe seventeen yeah, if it's high stat product. But yeah, yeah level nineteen goes over fifteen hundred. Super sad. Ugh. Well, that's okay. Just run a high rank one. Anyway, we got some make content as well coming out. Shadow Suicune is coming out, which is not that uh, relevant. We got Anacor coming out in the Pokemon version, but Cephalon. Uh, <laughs> 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 or ghost type Pokemon, if you catch my drift. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then we got uh, Sakataka, which is uh, another ultra piece as well, as well as for Cephalon. Oh. So. Uh, yeah, I thought I thought stack attack might do something, but I I check the stats in all the leagues and not good. It's nah, it's like nah, it's crap. It's what like about Blacephalon? worse than Blacephalon is super super glossy um, version of Skeledurge, like mm. super glossy. But apparently, as Mister even Fire, in Master so League, like, yeah, yeah, like super glossy. Oh, wow. The advice I've been yeah. giving is next month your rage should be focused on getting. Tapu Fini, the Great League, uh, mm -hmm. with Nature's Madness, and then you don't, you know, pick up the deck entries for Blacephalon and Stakataka, Reggie Rock if you want one for Ultra League, but do the Mega raids if you don't have your Megas because for resources, especially for, for newer players, resources Megas are massive. It makes a massive difference. Mm -hmm. Does anyone know on the top? What is the energy cost of Nature's Madness? Yeah, it's fifty, 50 right? Fifty, yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, a little expensive still for Tapu, but could be. Yeah, good. No, but it's, it's cheaper than Moonblast. Worse than the zeros, right? It's worse than the zeros because you you lose Moonblast, which is a good move, but um, it can cause some interesting ones and twos. Uh, it, it can cause some interesting core breaking potential. So uh, I definitely pick one up because you're not going to be able to get one for another year yeah. afterwards, otherwise, right? Yeah, especially with Water Gun as well. Like compared to, uh, I guess all the others did have like hard hitting fast moves as well. Well, what do you mean? A water gun as opposed to what? Oh, you you talking about the oh, other uh, tapus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess like Bulu, for example, in it is like, you know, you're not putting on like fast move pressure as well. Whereas like with water gun, it's like yeah. as soon as you do that defense. Well, none of the other ones are even eligible for Great League too. So yeah, so the, true, true. the only one. What? Yeah. All right, I have a question the for all thing. three of you. Would either of you run Tapu Fini on your team in a show I six think, format? I think I think I need to look into it a little bit more. Um, as your anti fighter. You got to be a bit careful because it actually doesn't have comfortable matchups against the fighters. Mm. So you need to balance that out elsewhere. But you have to remember that debuffs are really good, right? So especially with water gun, right? It's a one turn move. If you get a, if you can get de uh, debuff it, you start doing one extra damage per per turn with water gun. So that could be massive. So I think someone will do. But let's see. I'm, I mean, it has potential because when you look at like day two usage, it's usually. Shadow Gligar, Skarmory, Shadow Whizcash, top three. Mm -hmm. You're okay into those three Pokemon. So it, it definitely is usable. I'm not sure if it's like my favorite Pokemon I would pick right now, but I love one turn fast attack. So I feel like it, it definitely, for sure, you want to raid it. And then also it's like, it's good trade fodder, right? Like you have Tapu Fini that you can mirror trade if you were trying to get like Registeels or Guzzlords or whatever. So yeah, I think, I think it has potential. I think 50 energy on like it, it just feels like a little high for water gun user because you just don't get to that much energy but you never know you never know next update what if they update water gun you never know it has a lot of potential <laughs> i hope they don't update water, water gun <laughs> <laughs> uh what do you run to anacor uh i consider it okay you know it obviously no it idea. just depends on like <laughs> no, it just depends on like you know what what the matter is in it but i think it has i think it has potential as well you know um it's like if it was if it was good without nature's madness i feel like nature's madness just gives it a lot more you know flexibility there's a lot more things you can do as yeah. opposed to just you know just having a hard hitting um fairy type move yeah i'm curious how it's going to do against like some of the bulkier matchups like um like lick tongue and stuff you know, right because we still see a lot of that but having something that has a lot of pressure against Gligar is pretty nice too so mm -hmm. We'll see. It's technically eligible for this upcoming tournament, right? In Indianapolis. 
Uh, um, no, it's, it's not. supposed to be the Tuesday after. Oh, it's a Tuesday. It's the Tuesday after. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So anything that comes out, it has to be. It's only eligible whatever's eligible at the following Tuesday. Tuesday. Yes. Is yeah. uh, okay. But then there's a tournament in Europe right after Indianapolis, right? Yes, yeah, Stockholm. So it's yeah, eligible Stockholm. for Stockholm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But we'll see. We'll see if that one goes or not. But yeah, those are the, probably the main uh, ones to watch out for for this event. So. Uh, should we cl- quickly cover um, Asia qualifiers? Oh, man, we got backtracked a little bit, but yeah, we can. <laughs> okay. Let's just go back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I clocked that you went like past championship series. Yeah, um, right. Okay, so Asia qualifiers. Uh, this weekend, there was the India playoffs. So um, after this tournament, it means like the Thailand um circuit is over and then the india circuit is over as well and then also the first south korea qualifier so south korea similar to india they're having two qualifiers um now south korea qualifier so bear in mind players can't enter both of the qualifiers they have to pick one and um you know with the india qualifier they had 256 on the first one and then like i think or something like 100 on the second one. So like overall 350 individual um players took part. Um South Korea one has 60 on the first one. And I think last year they kind of had this as well where it was like a bit lowish numbers. I'm wondering if they should have two qualifiers. Mm. But you know, well I guess we'll see on the second one. Um so yeah, starting with the South Korea qualifiers, uh Yetaruna who also swept her qualifiers last year, swept the qualifiers this year as well. So um, she was... Do you guys have like the like the image in front of you? Or? Uh, if you didn't share with us, no. Nah, <laughs> We're not all looking at your <laughs> screen. How will we know? <laughs> <laughs> I also don't have it on my screen. I'm not going to lie. Okay, okay. All right. um, uh, wait, wait, let, me, uh, let me drop it in the thing. Oh, what is this? Um, I did. Uh, I did give a shout out to Yataruna last season because I used her GBL team to hit legend. Yeah, uh, she's mm. she's a good player. Very very strong player. Uh, okay, here is the. Mm, let me delete that one. Okay, here's the here's the two pictures for the thing. So um, yeah, Yataruna um came first. So. Eight players um, from this qualifier will go over, um, go off into the playoffs. Um, some other recognizable names from the eight that have qualified: Booty, who qualified for Worlds in the first season. I remember commentating some, and also Booty's last season before, as well. Like. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, he yeah. was actually he placed thirteen in Worlds in twenty twenty two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Booty he beat was me six slightly. times in one day in GBL once. <laughs> yeah. that How is that it was, possible? It was, a go, it was a go battle weekend. We were uh, in, we were both in like the top fifteen, and I just kept playing him, and his team was obvious <laughs> into mine. Someone wasn't in the top fifteen after that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I dropped. Yeah. Well, yeah. wait. You you faced off against him with the same exact team, exact same times? team, oh. and every single time I tried to play it slightly differently, but he knows my team, so I couldn't do anything. <laughs> Oh, that's too funny. Wait, does South Korea also play best of one to start out there? No, no. no so this is all best Japan. of three. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the, okay. this is Swiss, however. The playoffs will be double elimination, but the qualifier stage is Swiss. Um, and I believe they had six rounds of Swiss. Um, okay. Goji is another name that I recognize. Uh, maybe you guys recognize as well. Hasn't qualified for Worlds, but is usually in the playoffs Um area um and then also one that you might not instantly recognize but among me is actually sage and park um what? so yeah oh, yeah so the uh the pokemon is, king is he playing um, pokemon really? gold this year that'd be pretty wild wow. <laughs> i'd you know what? i reckon it depends on like what other games he qualifies oh in, right? man i'm gonna dm like, him and ask him like, some yeah. scrims <laughs> i feel like go is like you know lowest on his uh um you know priorities well, qualify but... for worlds in 2022 yeah, but also didn't take part. I know, I know. I'm just for saying, Unite yeah. instead, yeah, 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 yeah. And I think last year it was TCG that he did instead. Yeah, um, but he didn't qualify wow. last year. So, 
But he's done um, TCG before and Unite and VGC. So I feel like this is the year for this. This is the time. This is the time. This yeah, yeah. Time, right? And he's he's won in I believe he's won in TCG and VGC, right? I know he's, no, won he's only won he's only won in VG. Yeah, it's only he's only VGC. VGC. Yeah. Okay. He came I know he came second in Unite, I feel like. Did no, his no, team he come did. second he in did. Unite? No, 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 they didn't. No. no. Were he they like top four or anything? Uh, that first I year, I that don't, first I don't year. even, I don't even know no. if he, he made top four. Yeah, yeah. but um, yeah, Meta is, I, I guess, pretty standard to be honest. Um, but like when you look at some of the teams that have uh, topped, um, you see a lot of like Talonflame and A slash. I'd say are the like notable things compared to some of the other regions. So yeah, um, not a lot um, of Shadow. So not a lot of Shadow Whiskash. More non Shadow yeah. Whiskash from yeah. there, which is yeah. kind of interesting. And then 50 50 well, on the Glagos kind of yeah, wild too. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah, 50 50 on the Glagos world. Because generally that's always been like, you know, heavily skewed in the Shadows' favor. Yeah, but it's three, three to one in the top eight. So probably high performing Shadow Wars cash for sure. What it, it is interesting that Shadow Lord and Sandslash is super low usage, but it has won the last two tournaments and championship series as well. Yeah. 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 It's hard to use. I think it's, yeah, I was going to say it's a high skill floor Pokemon. Got to yeah. be, if you want to do. Use it well. You've got to be very, very good. Do you I, think, I think similar you can do about that in Caleb? Like it's just a bench pressure pressure Pokemon. Like, it's not Dune, enough bulk. I Dune, like the bulkier Pokemon. Dune literally never ran it. Like you could just put that on your team instead of Bastion <laughs> on and just play five on no, six. No, no, yeah, I don't think you understand, Butters. These days, Bastion is not bench pressure. I'd be use it like I'll post my cup run later, but I use Bastion on plenty in the tournament. It's okay, uh, okay. There it's, are a lot of locals teams that just do not respect Bastion. No, no, all my locals respect it though, because they know I'm going. So, <laughs> so no one no one's like running some like like six times a week to Bastion on like arrow team, wherever in my locals. They all like they usually ask if I'm going so they know like because they'll change their teams if I'm not going. But uh no, no, that. I'm not even kidding. I'm, I'm no joke. <laughs> Imagine having to prepare two teams for your locals. Just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, if I just go for versus, Caleb's locals. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. what I want to run versus what I run if Caleb's there. <laughs> That's pretty much how it is. Um, but we had the Indian playoffs too, and Beelzy Boy won that all. Which, which yeah, so uh, Umbreon, which is that was wild. yeah, that was yeah. dramatic. Honestly, I think the Umbreon pick is sick because uh, it's it's been so many um, events in a row now where it's like. You know, the, the main thing scaring off the Umbreon really was fairies, right? And well, Azumarill usage is just too. plummeted. Yeah, but even even charge bug usage is kind of plummeted recently. Is it? Has it plummeted? I guess in India. Yeah, like compared to, yeah sure. compared to yeah. like Lantern, you know? And so yeah. it's like, you know, counter user wise, Umbreon fights back against all the common counter users at the moment. Um, and generally elsewhere, it just has neutral matchups. You know, you don't have any like Reggie Steel matchups um, to fight off sure. against. You know, it's, it, it seems like it's in a decent place. Uh, uh, just, looking at the top teams from India, it actually looks really good into that specific meta. But they actually had three Umbreon in the top eight, which is kind of yeah. wild. So. Oh, it's insane, yeah. <laughs> so maybe they're onto yeah. something. But, but um, four players um, from this tournament um, qualified for Worlds. So you had Anish got floppy. Um, I feel like a lot He's gonna of have people... to change his name before he plays at Worlds. Yeah, do you think so? <laughs> yeah. Wait, sure. why? Yeah. Is this, is this is like the right word? Well, no, I don't just, know. It just sounds like an innuendo, right? He's got like they, a. They won't. They won't let you have the opposite of a hard on. Um, ah, okay. Is thinking, what it sounds would, like. That's not where my yeah. mind went, but. Uh, yeah, we don't see, have the I same see. slang in, in in the states. I Maybe think. it's a British <laughs> thing. Yeah. 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 I I do wonder where um where the name came from. To be honest. Um, but recognizable name if you were like um, involved in Sylph back in the days. I feel like he was one of the more recognizable um, Indian trainers. Um, Scarlet Wiz, who also qualified last year. Um, Nava Empire. Now, personally, Nava Empire is my favorite Indian player. I'll be very honest about that. Yeah, this guy. Yeah. You don't have to be honest, but you said it like every day on yeah, the podcast yeah, yeah, for I like two months. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> like, this the coming up. It's Nava Empire. Oh, they got the playoffs coming up. Uh, my Nava Empire. Empire. Nice. Yeah. No, look, this guy was the first. So he was the first Indian to ever reach number one on the leaderboard, right? But also, right. he seems to have a uh, a habit in a lot of like you know show six related tournaments of dropping the first match and then making a loser's bracket run so he did it last year in the playoff spot i think he got third place so just missed out on the top two um 
he did it in our APC tournament where he got to the grand finals and he did it here when he got to the grand finals as well. Um, so uh, yeah, man, a good, uh, good, good strategy. If you're, if you're built like him, I guess. Um, <laughs> and then Bill's boy swept the qualifier and then also swept the playoffs. So drop a series, you know, yeah. In a really strong position at the moment. Yeah, um, I- I got a little info on that from Avanov. Uh-huh. I believe Beza Boy in total went twenty-seven and two in the tournament, and he went undefeated in the playoffs, which oh, is absolutely dude. ridiculous. That's and better than your boy Nava Empire. What, <laughs> That's but, all I'm saying. To be fair, when Avanov was saying who he thought were the two best players in India, he thought it was Beza Boy and Nava Empire. But he also said that he thinks Beza Boy has a higher chance of actually going to Worlds to compete in terms of like like traveling there. So I'm not going to play my hand here, but that was a factor for me when I, I'm choosing my players. Oh, fair oh. Enough, fair enough. What's yeah. the, I think uh... it's because obviously Bill's a boy got the travel award and I spoke to Nava and, you know, he's trying to like get that together. But obviously I think for a lot of Asian trainers, considering how late on their qualifiers are yeah. and then the fact that obviously they've only got one opportunity and only the winner is getting any money. It, it you know it can be a bit difficult um you know when you're finding out two months before the tournament trying to you know get things together yeah so. like even if they announce worlds anytime sooner they might have still not bought their tickets because yeah 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 exactly like how you're gonna them. you don't know if you're going in yeah. yeah um and then also it's like the the events thing as well i think you know may, maybe it's not something we take for granted necessarily but if you think about the fact that we have events year round right a consistent player could bank money at all of those events and potentially use it you know a consistent and responsible player um could <laughs> could bank money just, and, just um, come next time anacor yeah. whoever you're referencing yeah, right yeah, here, yeah. <laughs> maybe i do need to Arrow um, <laughs> could uh um yeah could bank money throughout the season um and you know use that to um go to the world championships whereas obviously again you know any of the uh, players playing in the asia region wouldn't wouldn't have that do uh, they option. do they win money if they win uh qualifier? they do yeah yeah, okay. yeah yeah so that helps a little bit so yeah but it's just that first player nobody else gets wait it. what so the, yeah. the one person that gets the travel award is the only person that wins money yeah oh sure. damn that's yeah, uh, yeah that's a rough... <laughs> it feels i mean it's like great if you're winning yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah no yeah. wonder why bj was excited he won <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah literally <laughs> i was like bro you got enough money already so, <laughs> yeah. all right yeah. All right, well let's uh let's get into that meet of things. I'm sure we might have some first time listeners listening to this as well, trying to see, you know, maybe upset with our takes or maybe be like, Oh, <laughs> you gassing me up. Let me hear how. Anyway, uh so this came up um over this past week. It was actually Frost Rider that tagged me in a series of tweets. I saw it before the tweet too but i i didn't really even think about it for a pokemon go but essentially this uh i think it was a card shop or wherever um a tcg card shop created uh like a tier list of their tcg players worldwide and they said oh how would you spend 15 dollars it's a little confusing the wording and they had a five dollar tier four dollar tier three dollar tier two dollar tier one dollar tier and essentially what they're asking is how would you put together a team of essentially five people from tcg spending only one from each tier right so obviously if you get one for each tier, I'll add up to $15. Uh, but obviously, there's six people in each tier, so the tiering of it is also one factor. The other part of it is who would you pick, right? How would you spend your $15? And the Frostfires tagged me and some other podcasters, and we're like, hey, maybe you all should do this for Pokemon Go. It'll be good content. And I said, you know what? That's going to piss off a lot of people. Let's do it. So <laughs> uh, here we are. And then uh, we're, we're planning on getting a guest on the podcast anyway, so I was like, oh, let's, let's bring on Tomahawk. I say, oh, let's let's balance out some of the EU, you know, bias. So let's bring on two of butters, right? And uh, of course, we have our resident APAC expert in Anacor as well. So I feel let's like go. if if any APAC players feel misrepresented, then Anacor did. You I go got you right? all, yeah. <laughs> they, they know I got them. They know I got them. <laughs> okay. go watch. They know I got them. So the so the preface this tier list by the time you all hear this part, you probably already seen the tier list. We haven't come up with our collective tier list yet. We've all come into this recording with our own tier list so we're going to make like a master's one i guess that we all agree upon by the end of this um but the premise is it's like probably like the the tier list is based off of like how well they how good of a player they are currently for the most part right um not like any past accomplishments because i think i said this off air but 
if it include like of all time, you could probably throw a dancing Rob on there, right? Because he had a really historic run in 2022. But these days, I mean, he's not really competing. He's judging and stuff like that. So he, someone like him wouldn't make the tier list, right? Anyone that's retired probably doesn't make a tier list, right? Because they're not good or they're washed up or et cetera, or they're just not playing. Um, how do we want to do this? Should we go tier by tier, share our, Wait, our, our thoughts? Okay. Say, One because... thing can I say, though, yeah. is, yeah. okay, of, there, it goes down to one dollar, yeah. Yeah. One dollar. Are we making an assumption that everyone else is free? What do you mean free? Sure. Why not? Yeah. To make everyone feel good. Yeah. They can all. What do you know mean by free? free? As, like like, cost like zero money. Cost zero. Yeah. Dollars. Yeah. Because it's so five, it, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Zero. Because because the it thing be- is, yeah, I like I don't understand where where okay, you can be like, oh, this is the best player. Am I really gonna be like one dollar? That's the worst player. Or am I gonna be like, you know what? I think they're worth a dollar. They're not quite free. Wait, what's the point? Because otherwise, Why I could throw anyone if they're free or not. Because if if you want to choose like three five dollar players, and no, 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 choose... you can only choose one per tier, one per tier. Yeah, yeah, players. but like the one dollar tier, yeah, is like is that saying that's the worst player, or is that saying you know what that player's one dollar, but they're not quite zero dollars? Because the second one know, makes okay, sense. So... To me. So obviously everyone can't make the list because there's only yeah, a certain right. amount of spots. Exactly. Yeah. So it's yeah. not. It's, it's not, only thirty people on this list, right? There's yeah, five tiers yeah. and six per. Yeah. So I I wasn't ex- I, this context wasn't explained to me. So the way that <laughs> I actually built my list was uh-huh. literally just by resume. Like so, the top tier has the best resume, and then so right. on, so on, so on, all the way to one dollar resume. That's fair. And the thing is, that was for me more objective and then you can get subjective if you think yeah they have a good resume but maybe they're overpriced or this person is underpriced at that value so then you can make your opinions on whether they're over or underpriced but i made it literally just by the resume and then luckily two trainers that would have had really good resumes that are now like retired are dancing robin with dodge so i didn't have to run into that problem so most of the people that had old accomplishments are still active and qualified for worlds this year Okay. Cool. And Butters is giving all of these caveats because he's scared of getting cancelled again. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> Butters had to go to. He did an emergency live stream. Was like, I need to get everyone else's opinion on it because I I can't be held accountable for my tier list. So. I also needed <laughs> help filling up the tier list. <laughs> Look, not, the, I don't see any of the other three of us needing help here. We just the, the we last, with our guts. Here. Yeah, but uh, I'm happy with my list. I'm happy with all my right. list. I think it's good. I think it's resume based. And then when people see it, because you said you're going to release this list. I don't know if you're going to release everyone's list or our like one consensus list, but uh I'm excited. Let's just, we'll release let's get we'll it release going. our consensus yeah. list. That's what. Okay, gotcha, but let's gotcha. uh, it's, if you're feeling good about it, let's start things off with you. What's your tier 5? Your okay. highest tier, your $5 oh, tier. Okay. First off, I said all those things and then secondly, these are all trainers in in my eyes like you're building this team to win world. So you you want to have your your best chance of one of these trainers on your team actually winning the title, right? So I felt like this is the impossible situation. There are in the last two top eights in the world championships there. This is how it breaks down in terms of regions. There are six trainers from Asia. There are four trainers from North America and then tied for last place is uh, LATAM and EU both have three trainers. (laughs) Y'all hear that, right? (laughs) So the thing is, this is the impossible problem. I feel like Anacor will do this better, but I haven't seen a lot of these trainers from Asia because they qualify differently than the other regions. So I'm actually able to see people in North America, LATAM, Europe, even Oceania, because I would lump in Australia because they qualify the same way that we qualify. But I just don't have the same context for a lot of these trainers in Asia. Plus, I'm putting in the caveat that I that I want these trainers to be able to win worlds. Some of the qualifications haven't happened yet. So some people in Asia might not have even qualified yet. So that's hard too. But like if statistically they have the most representation in top eight. So my my list should have a lot more people from Asia than it does, but I tried to include at least one in every single tier. And some oh. tiers, I think I have two, but I'm just saying off the bat, it's because I am less familiar because it's impossible for me to see what they're doing. But I fully acknowledge that by the odds, they will probably have the most representatives this year 
as well because of what they've done in past performances. Good but with that, being said, with that being said, <laughs> let's, right. let's get into my list. He's uncancelable now, so he gave us a statement. <laughs> let's go. Let's hear it. Okay, so best resumes right now, I got Dune, Dune Bug, of course, Emmy Weedle. He's got the Triple Crown, its accent, also the world champion, also has the Triple Crown of a world championship, an international championship, a regional championship. I have Jakobovic because I feel like he deserves to be on this list in terms of resume alone. He has back-to-back regional titles and an international championship. And then for my trainer in Asia, I have Crescent Angels. Crescent Angels is going to be my trainer that rounds out the list. I don't know if he'll qualify yet, but he has the best performances in both of the worlds combined. He was third place in 2022 and I believe 25th in 2023, but he's been really good at Worlds, so that's why he's going on my last spot of that you tier. Mean, you mean best APAC player combined performance, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah. sorry. Best oh, APAC. No, that's fine. Best APAC. Wait, so you had Dune, Emmy Weedle, Axon, Yakovovich, Crescent Angels? Um, Who's your sixth? You also had Har Jeffy. Oh, yeah. I also oh, have Jeff. LNDS Har Jeffy. Because no, we he, got a uh, five I've out of the same, same six. List. Yeah, because I mean, six. I mean, his his resume just deserves it, right? He he went undefeated in a competition and also won an international championship. Like he, I feel like he has to be on that tier. You had the same list, Tomahawk. I have the, the exact same six. Yeah. W- what about wow. you, Anacor? So okay, um, I don't know if I said this on the actual thing, yeah, but I didn't really understand the assignment yeah. <laughs> so, there, like, i don't think there was a clear instruction we all right. we all went our different way so, somehow, somehow so, i gave the same instructions to all three of you you and, gave uh, no instructions you just i, didn't, here's yeah, a poster. I was looking at the picture here's a poster. Poster. Money, the same you know, thing. I, I don't get it but 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 i i would um personally on my list i would also put um dune and hard jeffy for sure okay. um I actually want to put Yekai on top as well. Um, the reason for Yekai is because, um, you know, Yekai qualified for Worlds last year. He's really young, has been number one on the GBL leaderboard just multiple times um, over the last, like, couple seasons. Yeah, but does um, GBL and then, matter as much? Okay, well, this is one right. of the, like, you know, thingy. But, yeah. um, you know, one of the reasons that I wanted to set up the Asia-Pacific Championships was also to see a lot of these players in a show six setting outside of their qualifying tournament. And when we had the final tournament um, of the first season, Yekai swept the entire thing, beating players like Nava Empire, Nyan Kake, Tetsuo, like all these like really big Asian names, yeah? And he beat him like it was nothing. And I, I mean, watching the finals against Nava as well, he he took um, a team from, he took Jakovic's team. Um, and I think... Um, he took it like the night before, but watching him play that team in the final, yeah, he was his mind was like five steps ahead of where you know mine was, and you know maybe some other uh, other people watching but as well. See, like I'm glad was... I'm, I'm glad you're bringing this up because this all goes into the, in my opinion, the subjective That's, part. Yeah, it's very because subjective. I don't think his resume is as good as Crescent Angels. In mm-hmm. championship series, but nope. then you can say, okay, he's a lower dollar, but I would rather pick him at a lower dollar because I think he can win it all because of all those things you mentioned. Because you have the insight that you think Let's he's see. so good, take him at a lower dollar, and then you have a better chance of winning the whole thing. You know what I mean? I think we, I think personally, you should go more resume first for value, and yeah. then you decide as a person who I want to take on my team. Based on resume value, that's how I feel. I agree. Okay. I look. I ain't hating on your APC tournament format or anything, but <laughs> the same guy that you're hyping up went zero and four at Worlds. He didn't win a single game last year, so yeah. that's a uh, you know a little bit harder to sell than someone like Crescent Angels from a similar region. But okay, so Yekai, Hard Jeff. Dude. Um. Uh. Europe-wise, I kind of want to do someone from like each um, region as well. Um, Europe, 
you were supposed to do this in advance. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, after Butter said no subjective, he his whole his whole tier list just got scrapped. <laughs> yeah, because I, I don't I don't really know what to because you know what the thing is, I, it's like I don't really know what's but because okay, look, here's here's the thing, right? When looking at because I think the way I look at um, results is also a bit different as well, right? So, for example, if I look at Emmy Weedle, yeah, obviously he's just won an international, but his performance over the course of the season, while it's been consistent, he's not been topping as much, right? So for me, I'm like, I couldn't put him on my top tier. Yeah, I would potentially put Farid on that top tier, but he hasn't won anything. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, it, like we it, it, we're going into like too much detail. Yeah, because, I, yeah. no, no, but I just went Emmy Weedle. Yeah, he's won a I'd senior world. Say Colin, then, in that case. He's won an EUIC. It doesn't really matter. Like the let's just remember yeah. the idea of this is just to get conversation going. If you're not in the yeah, right tier, I don't really understand. Okay. Just... If you're not in the right tier, you you work yourself into the okay. right tier. No, yeah, but, like, but it's that's bizarre. the whole point. The tiers doesn't necessarily mean these are the six best players in the world they just have to be in this tier because of what they've done in championship series and then okay. knowing their value when you make your own team you can then take and pick and try to build a better team than if you just pick you know all the people that were which you can't do anyway all the people in the, in the best tier you know what i mean Oh, I, I okay, don't see so these if, as the six best players in the world right now, in my opinion. But <laughs> if it's yeah, just on okay, well, if it's just yeah. the numbers, then okay, yeah, I, I guess I agree with the same as well. Yeah, I don't no, the same. Okay, yeah. yeah so to, to I, be, uh, I just yeah, I want to caveat. I'm not saying that these are the best players in the world. I'm not saying that anyone who's not in my rankings is therefore not one of the best. I literally just did this in five minutes in between watching Butter's stream <laughs> and having to join, and I just went along the lines of. I'm familiar with this player and they've recently done well. So sure, you can go higher up. There's nothing more to it than that. Uh, so I put, I had, I had the same five, five, except instead of Crescents, I had Lyle Jeffs. Sure. Okay. I mean, that's fair. fair. I just feel like you have to have someone from APAC just yeah. because Caleb's of canceled. the history of the world yeah, as a as a as an Asian person here. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I get you. But I, I purposely, I have the same... Disclaimer as Butters in, in the sense that I'm not as familiar with the APAC players, obviously, outside of there's just it's not even that I don't know the results, it's that there's just not a lot of results, right? They just yeah. have a qualifier every year and then they go to worlds if they qualify through worlds. And like, there's just not a lot of data points that exist in general, let alone it's not even maybe, like, maybe we should have happens. actually just excluded anyone that's not in TPCI, like that would have just avoided ah. because, yeah, otherwise, you have this issue with the whole thing, right? Because, yeah, it's like, okay, how do you? But let's just carry on. Let's just carry on. No, that's I'm, no. I'm it's okay, honestly, I'm it's okay with cutting them out. Yeah, it's, it's impossible just for this, just because they have less data points. But those are most of Anacle's friends, so his list is now bare. Yeah. So you can't really have let's, any. Let's try to fit him in. Let's try to fit him in. Yeah. Um, okay. I'd be okay with taking out Lyle Jess for Crescent Angels in our master list. I mean, sure. just because I feel like there needs to be someone from APAC in every tier. Personally, I mean, yeah, well, I I, I, I also looked it. at like their worlds performances, specifically last year's worlds, because the first year worlds might not mean as much, but I took that into account too in terms of my rankings. But fair, fair. Um, but yeah, I mean, Crescent Angels didn't do poorly, so we can always go back to that too, because like once we mention other names and who we have in the in the lower tiers, then we can always figure it yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll go. I'll go first. I'll go first for this is the four dollar tier. Yeah. I have Here's Lyle two. Jeffs. I okay. have Colin. I have Rise to Occasion, Zardi, Elite, and then for my APAC representative, I put in Bezel Boy. Hmm. Okay. Oh, this is where it gets really different. I feel okay. like. Should I? Should I go yeah. nine? Yeah. Yeah. yeah let's yeah. hear Tom Hawk. Okay. So. Uh, I've also got Lyle and Colin, so I'll mention them first. Uh, I, I put Statistan because he, in my mind, is one of the most consistent players on the, in the world and has been for the last three years. Uh, I've put Paterman because I think that his performance is when he... He doesn't play loads of tournaments, but I think in the same way that you've put Elite, maybe I've got some E bias. Paterman's like that similar style, fewer tournaments, but they usually... Oh, no, he's super quality. consistent, though, yeah. 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 And then I put Beelzeboy as well. And I put Yetaruna because I think she's cracked. Okay. Yetaruna, I don't know. I, I looked her up on Draco Viz and her, her tournament performance outside of her media region is not as high. But that's just my my thoughts. Yeah, I'm I'm 
I think instead of Zardi, it should be Steiner. Um, I think he's currently yeah. the like the but but then I, I don't know if this already has a lot more accomplishments from the same from past years but yeah, that's, we're talking that's, about currently right that's the problem i went side by side zardi has a better resume but steiner has a better recent resume but zardi does have a better resume well, we're taking we're talking about who you take in to win worlds this year right yeah but but the thing Steiner's is on a hot streak yeah but i think when we value people at a dollar we should just go by resume and then you would pick Steinar cheaper because you think Steinar's playing better, and then you save money. You know what I mean? Well, I don't I know. You're no like, I don't know what you're just like that. general manager <laughs> butter trying to find a six <laughs> man for a team or something. I don't know what's going, what's on. going on. We haven't got <laughs> yeah. to it yet, but on my list, I have personally put Steinar higher than Zardi. So, okay. spoiler, yeah, spoiler. same. That's I hard. also think, I, I don't know if you put, uh, I can't remember if you put uh, an Australian one on the four. Um, no, I, I don't. No. I don't have an Australian in, in four. No. Yeah. Vish could be potentially. Good. I was going to say Rick, but maybe yeah. maybe th- three to four. Rick Flurry. Um, yeah, he I made think top cut last year at Worlds too, right? He made top cut at both worlds. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I, I would yeah. I knew the first year. I just remember last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caleb, are you just writing down all of our lists and then you can just no, like, no, no, no. no. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? What's no, no. Word? So, so I made, I made. Yeah. So, so I'll share my list. What, what I did is I have a master list. So yeah. I think we all agreed on Dune, Crescent, Hard Jeff, Emmy Widow, Axon, and Jacob Rich in the master list. Yeah. For for the for tier five. So tier four, I had. Uh, so I had Lyle in my fifth one. So that's why I have um, Crescent in my tier four one. But I could obviously flip that. I have sure. Elite, uh, again, very low, very minimal participation, but very high consistency. Uh, I have Steiner, similar reasons as what you all talked about Steiner over Zardy, but I mean, Zardy's also on my list, just a little bit lower. I have Colin, in my opinion, probably outside of Emmy Weedle, probably the most consistent EU player. Uh, Potamon and uh, I, yeah. Rubik's. I would player. say Stan and Colin are the other I, I like the Stan. Um, the problem with Stan today. is that he just hasn't won. A yeah, game. how much do you value the actual yeah. championship? I think, because like, if you for... value the championship, then it's clearly Colin. He has yeah, two. two. But yeah. Stan doesn't have a single one. No, Stan Stan's consistent. Too. So so something I, I considered as well is not only uh, achievements, but consistency out of how many you've gone to. Like, Arrow could be pretty high up if he didn't go to like a million tournaments. But he top cuts at a lot, but also doesn't top cut at a lot, right? So I think that's like a big factor. I think Satisan is similar in that regard, where he top cuts a decent amount. But he's gone to a lot of tournaments and but hasn't has, won anyone uh, yet. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but has Stan like top cut most of the last tournaments he's played? I think he got Dortmund, seventh at USC Utrecht, and then everything Liverpool, else he's pretty much top regard. cut, right? Was yeah, Gdansk so he... the top sixteen or was Gdansk? He got he came top sixteen. Was, Since that, Gdansk, was, was it a top sixteen at Gdansk? Yeah, he came he came top sixteen. No, no, no was he, was Gdansk the top, 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 top sixteen? Was it top sixteen? Was the tournament big enough for top sixteen? Yeah. Oh top no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, okay. No. So I mean, but he's made top cut four out of five recent tournaments. Yeah, it's kind of he's wild. super consistent player. Like I have him on my list, but I mean. That's fair. He's, I, 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 worlds, that's fair. he's not. He's it. not got to a grand finals this season. I think that that's also a fair. If you can get to a grand finals and you're like handsome and funny, then that's pretty impressive. Hmm. Gotcha. <laughs> I see. I see where this is going. Uh, anyway, so I have a. Uh, I put Rubik's Master there because honestly, he's played. He's gone to four tournaments in total. Uh, Portland yeah. Worlds last year. Uh, Portland again, and then Vancouver. He got second place in three out of those four. Yeah, that's kind of place at Worlds is pretty crazy, I, too. He hasn't won a tournament, but he's like the one person I have on this list that, well, I, I guess outside Crescent Angels, too, that hasn't won a tournament, but in my opinion, it deserves to be in the $4 tier for consistency. That's crazy consistent. I don't have anyone in this tier that hasn't won two tournaments. Wait, who, who, oh. wait, who besides is in yours? Boy, besides Visa Boy. Wait, wait who, who are your six? Lyle, Colin, okay. Rise, Zardi, and Elite have all won two tournaments. Fair. Yeah, know. Rice is a great guy and everything, but he's just not consistent right now. He hasn't no, even made a top three. No, I, I think I understand. Like, I just I did it differently where I like just had cutoffs where like literally people who had better resumes were just higher value. But I understand what you guys are saying for people that are playing better now. And then how much yeah. do you even value a ring? Like, how much do you value okay, a championship I- over like? Second place, like I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. Rubik's Master is number one, but he's got second place at Worlds, so that's really valuable too. So I'll, you... I'll ask you in basketball terms, Butters, right? Yeah. Uh, 
what's a basketball player that has two championship rings right now, pro basketball that's active, but hasn't won those championship rings in like the past five years? Kevin Durant. All right. Yeah. Would you rank Kevin Durant in like, well, he's actually pretty good. Yeah, I would rank him in a higher tier because, (laughs) because he's done it. We're looking for someone to win. Well, we're talking about right now, though. For this we're looking, year, right? We're looking this for someone worlds. to win worlds. So it's this nice year. to have someone who has won an entire contest before. Even if it wasn't this season. Well, yeah. Sorry. To, to, to Butter's point, and to be yeah. fair, like this isn't, this isn't physical sport where you're physically declining. It is, yeah. there is a, yeah, there is you a, don't know. You don't know. <laughs> we're just we're just mentally declining in our yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I see the point. If you if you've got a mentality, if you've if you've won it before, sometimes that can be massive. So like, uh, that's fair enough. I think Rise okay. is not an unreasonable suggestion at all. No, 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 no definitely yeah. not. I'll just well, maybe you put him on three then with Stan. I'm I'm open. Do you think to, that's the criteria? I'm open to moving around like three and four from. Oh yeah, yeah. Think. All I, right, let's let's try to put together a four tier master tier list. I think Lyle. Lyle's a agrees, lock. Right? Lyle's a lock. Yeah. Lyle for sure. Yeah. I feel like let's lock I think, Colin too. Colin, yeah. yeah Colin, yeah, I think Colin. we all. Enough, I yeah, think yeah. Potamon has a really impressive resume. One one this year has got uh, grand but, finals and, twice this year. I think Elite has a better resume in the same sample size. Oh no, mm-hmm. I put I, I, I have a I have Elite in this tier list too. I'd actually put Elite over. I think Potamon's one is better than Elite though. Why? But it's the exact same. Well, look at into, it's the exact same. Elite's been to less. It's literally the exact same resume, but Elite has two first place, and Potamon has the, one. The the biggest the biggest sell point for Potamon over yeah he's he's won twice yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and then um and he's only gone to three regionals yeah San Diego one he didn't make top cut he won two other ones but the the biggest sell point for Potamon is top Potamon top cut at Worlds last year and Elite yeah. went O two yeah it's, hey that's fair that's actually like. That's I would personally put them in the same tier, but I think they both be- belong in that tier, is my opinion. But Elite just doesn't have a lot of sample size. I don't know. Mm, that's true. Yeah, he didn't play after after he won, didn't it? I put Potamon for sure in this tier. I think Elite's more debatable, but I think Elite deserves. But did Potamon? He got seventeenth at World. Is that technically top cut? Yeah, uh, it was like, it, was like uh, it wasn't top cut. It was like day two. Yeah, it was day okay, two. But yeah. I mean, it was further than Elite went at least, right? Elite just yeah. The, the thing missing in Elite's resume is he has no good performance in any ic or worlds yeah not, not a single one he only, only competed in california he's only had one world's competition where he got he went oh two obviously so yeah that is the downside of, of his resume so i, I think call. it's a little i think given that he's only played one tournament this season i think adam has a slight edge. I put Potamon on. We can maybe table a leaf for now, but and keep Potamon on. So right now we have Lyle, Colin, Potamon. I think Ruby's Master deserves to be in this tier. I would mm-hmm. not want like like that's super. That's that consistency is yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me true. just like the that's... people. Like, I think that's just... similar. That's a similar record. It, like like that's similar vibes to like. Pataman's record. Yeah, but the difference Fucking is he got I second mean, at Worlds, yeah, which yeah, is, exactly. that's like elevated way yeah. higher in my opinion. Yeah. Ru- Rubik's Rubik's would be. I I did have him a bit lower, but you're right. He would be a steal at lower because second, second, ninth, second is pretty yeah. pretty ridiculous. Yeah. I think winning a winning a regional tournament is way easier than getting second at Worlds. Oh, mm-hmm. for sure. Arguably, oh, winning at international is easier than getting second at Worlds. But agreed, agreed. And I, in defense of, of Zardi, by the way. Because I know Steinar has the better record recently. Zardi has won two regionals, and he's gotten top five in the Worlds. It was True, 2022. But that was the first but, year, yeah. But a top five in Worlds is, like, really high. I mean, I get your logic, because your logic yeah. makes the same... Why you have Zardi is the same reason you have Rise, right? Both... He yeah. also two-time cha- uh, champion. Rise also made top cuts season one of yeah. Worlds, right? Yeah. So you know what, Steinar this season, Steiner's got for four, LAIC. yeah, and then yeah, two crazy. first and yeah, yeah. That's kind of nuts, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then he was like also the person I, I'd, I'd say has a too. closer chance of winning Worlds this year. Yeah, because yeah. it's, it's literally so hard to rank because if you're just ranking on like who you think has the best shot to win How do you say Steiner's worse while you're wearing an LNDS jersey right now, Butters? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> I, no, I'm saying he has, he has objectively a worse resume, and that's the only thing because... Yeah. Right I feel now, like, yeah, yeah, but yeah, but then how? What is our time period? And it's it's all vague anyway, so it's hard to 
it's hard to distinct whether we're going for a resume or we're going for a chance to win worlds because I went whole whole time resume. That's how, I'm just being honest. I oh, went no, that's whole, fine. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. So, but we don't have I, to go straight resume now. Yeah, right? okay. we're, we're debating now. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. If you guys yeah. want to add some people, that's fine. But that, yeah, that's those. Right. Right. I feel I feel like yeah. Zardi fits in like the three dollar with people like Rise and stuff like that, where it's like the they've got the extensive. They've got the extensive history and they've got decent consistency this season as well, but they're not like smashing it where their names are on everyone's lips. Do you know what I mean? Um, let's, uh, oh, so let's take a vote. If we were to vote Steiner okay. or Zardy in this spot, I'm going Steiner. I'd say Steiner. Steiner. Okay. Well, then you can I'm still vote for Zardy if you I'm want. I'm voting Zardy just because, <laughs> yeah. because, yeah, I'm voting Zardy, but yeah. Yeah. All right. We got Steiner and we got one spot left. Did we want to try to put an APAC person in here? Uh, I think it's I put Beasel to... Boy. I think Beasel Boy well. went, went 27 and 2 recently, but yeah, he has I, very I, little data points, but like, yeah. I don't know if I he played well in a pretty stacked boy. I think also that I'm not going to lie. I think that, uh, I, I want to say, I think that number's wrong. Um, oh, but, okay. Well, it could be wrong. Yeah. But, <laughs> um, the like, to was it? No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> of enough number because, oh. um, it, what did he get? He got like, um, in the playoffs, he went, yeah, he dropped three games in the playoffs, which is still good, obviously, mm-hmm. um, but that's already more than two. So, Wait, but, why did BLC yeah. Boy play in the APAC regional last qualifier last year instead of the Indian one? Uh, that would have been in the first year. So the first oh, year the first they year. had Sorry, all yeah. combined. It oh, wasn't like uh, yeah, gotcha. yeah. They had like separate. They had separate um country tournaments, and then the top people from each country go into an APAC tournament, and then two people qualify from that. They play best of fives in that tournament. I'm looking they, at the results. Know. It's crazy. So, They're all best of fives. So let's, oh, maybe we coded it wrong. Let's Wait, put oh. someone from APAC in this tier. I'll throw out some other names. Because if we don't go measle, yeah. Boy, Who are other two-time qualifiers from from APAC? So there's like Luminous, yeah, yeah, Luminous. Booty. Do you know what Booty? Honestly, from the limited data points we have, Luminous is I pretty good could, too, though. Dude, Seventh at Worlds last year, and then thirty-third yeah. at Worlds the previous year, and he's playing in APAC qual or it's Japan's qualifiers too, and that's like a pretty stacked field. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Shout I don't know about the 33rd at Worlds in the first year because I feel like that counts. Well, 33rd like, at Worlds was like that first that. year, which is yeah, going 0-2. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he so didn't, I don't know if he that didn't win a single really, game. Yeah, he, he got yeah, yeah. he got two by um, and, So uh, I'd say that's kind of similar hearts. record to Booty, though, in terms yeah. of... Um, like. Let me look at... Yeah. What about... I had... I don't know how to pronounce it right. Roroy? Roroy? I had him. Roroy... I don't know if he's competing this year. He he was seventh in worlds last yeah, year, and he's also won good. the 2023 South Korea playoffs. Mm. Mm. Yeah, he was fire last year, but I don't know if like because I don't know if he's competing this year. So yeah. I don't know if yeah. like, and he hasn't really competed as much in GBL recently because I think like studies and stuff like that. So I don't know if I'd even. Okay, data but... points are just a little slim on that one. Yeah, I mean the thing is, I would we don't have either, to like... necessarily have an APAC representation yeah, every yeah. single tier. Like if if there's just not enough data points for a tier four, I'd be okay with just going with someone else. Yeah. My my only argument is for keeping someone in every tier is that literally they have they have the most representation from the True. the last two worlds, and obviously we don't know much as much about them. But I feel like just out of respect for what they've done in the last two worlds and for what they probably will do in this world. I think we should include one person in every tier. I I would go Luminous or Booty personally. What about Chiodo? Chiodo's good too. Uh, Chiodo's good, but I don't think I'd put Chiodo over Luminous. Really? And Even though Chiodo to... beat Luminous? Yeah. Because <laughs> okay. Luminous qualified both times. Chiodo didn't qualify the first time. I, I, guess... I'd go with Luminous then. I... I was gonna say not Rob, who obviously is in Japan, was saying that he he thinks Crescent Angel and Luminous would be top two in in Japan right now. So, okay, I don't know about right now. Let me just say I'm happy with. Luminous. Obviously, we'll see at PJCS, but yeah, I don't know. There's a there's a Pokemon not where... not worth uh, mentioning. Uh, 
I it's think not. based on only based on um because obviously he qualified for the first uh, worlds but didn't yeah. go. Yeah. Um and then last year his performance when, when wasn't as good and I think that's the only thing that puts him uh in contention below Luminous. Mm. Do you know what okay. I mean? Because yeah, Luminous yeah. also qualified both times, but actually had a decent okay. run. Um, I'm cool. I'm cool um, with that. So I think, yeah, either Luminous or Booty, because I feel like they've both kind of done similar things. All right. Who you got for... Uh, okay, so we got Lyle, Colin, Potamon, Rubik, Steiner, Luminous for this tier. I think we all feel pretty good about that one. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Tier three. Let's hear it, Butters. So I had Steinar. Yeah. I have Lurgan Rocket. Okay. Rick Flareon. Okay. House Stark. My oh. favorite player right now, Paul Lasha. And then I had Ro Roy. Interesting. All yeah. right, let's hear Tomahawks before we I'm gonna I'm gonna shuffle mine slightly because yeah. I may as well not say the players we've already put into into That's four. That's fair. There's, there's no point. So I'll go with Rise, Elite, um uh Yetaruna and Beelzeboy, uh Scarlet Wiz. Uh, sorry, no, N- N- Nava Empire and Rick Flareon. Okay. I like I like Nava Empire and Rick Flareon. <laughs> we all know you yeah. like Nava Empire. Yeah. <laughs> like, you, you have to say it. Yeah. <laughs> I like how you threw in Rick Flareon just to make it seem like you're not just talking about Nava yeah. Empire, even though we knew that was your main focus point, right? Come on. <laughs> no, I, I like them in that tier. And also what we were saying about like Rise and Zardi in that tier as well. How many spaces do we have in that tier? Or in just six, six for all. Is six, yeah, yeah. So that's four. And so then, here, um, here are mine. Wait, did you already have? You didn't have anything, right, Anacor? I, I've no, I'm doing. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'll just take mine then and see if, no if fives, anything else it? comes yeah. off. I put Paul Lasha, Zardi, Inadequance, Valiant Vish, EJB, and Statistan. Do you know what? I think Statistan Inadequent is pretty, pretty damn consistent. Inadequance yeah, is too, and I, he actually I mean, won a tournament too, a very recent uh, one. I think they both, yeah, they both kind of need to be in there. I would personally put Rick Flurry on above Valiant Vish, um, just okay. because they're kind of similar Fair. records, but Rick Flurry on has like a better. Um, yeah, that's what I would, yeah. especially of late too. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, so we're in agreement that surely Stan has to be on there, right? He's got a thousand Stan's points be already. In yeah, so, I think so. Yeah, he's like top of the guys, championship thing, isn't it? See, yeah. I would say that Lurgan maybe technically has a, a better resume than Status Stan, but. Well, so it's Satisan really got to... third at UIC last year as well. Like, that's a big yeah. tournament. Like, yeah. the, Satisan's Lur- biggest Lurgan downfall got, is he hasn't yeah. won a tournament. Yeah. But but the thing is, if you look at Lurgan's record, he's he's only won one tournament, which is the first one, right? And that so was, yeah. it's not it's not no, like it's he true. has, like, a, a lot. I mean, and I think his, they're similar, right? But I think, honestly, Lurgan's pretty consistent. And his Worlds and his worlds is, is top four, which is amazing. But it's, like, it, that start that was... to his career, first in Liverpool and then fourth in Worlds. It, but then... There was a little down period, but yeah. recently he's been pretty consistent. Although so like, it's interesting has been that, more consistent. Yeah, you, it's, it's actually a really good comparison to make because if I just go through both of their profiles, right? So EUIC, they both came top eight. Mm-hmm. Their previous tournament, they both played in Utrecht. Uh, Lurgan came ninth or top sixteen. Lurgan got top sixteen, but Stan got top eight. Mm-hmm. In Dortmund, they both played and. Logan got top 16 and Stan only got top 32. So they're still even, right? Right. In Liverpool, they, well, they came fourth and fifth, according to this. Yeah. Logan came, <laughs> it's, so, it's so close, right? Logan like, came so top close. four, Stan came yeah. top eight. Uh, Stan also played in Stuttgart, in which he got top eight. Logan didn't play it. And in Gdansk, Stan came top 16 and Logan got top 32. So this season, it, yeah, it's super, super close. Super close. Neck and neck and yeah, and I just put Lurgan because he has he has a championship. But I, I, I think Statistan has a really good case. Like, I think going into last year Worlds, he was the most consistent European player, like, on paper. And then this year, he's been just as consistent. He just hasn't been to a finals. Yeah. But but Lurgan's championship, and obviously I, Lurgan's incredible, right? But Lurgan's championship was a long time ago. Yeah. The first yeah. one ever. It was the very and it was first. Over and it was Satisan. against Stan. Yeah. <laughs> like, if Satisan yeah. won that one, because I bet Satisan's <laughs> yeah. like, man, if I just won that one, you all wouldn't be talking about this. Like, it'd be clearly <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, true. The head to head goes to Lurgan, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I, either one's good for me. I'm just, I was just saying that Lurgan has, like, he's on the same level, in my opinion, as Satisan. Like, in I'm terms go- of oh, so I'll, I'll, if we're to vote on this one, I vote Satisan. What, what do you all vote? 
Uh, I think Stan as well. I'm, I'm going to vote I, Stan just because I feel like Stan has the leaderboard more... at the moment. A little yeah, bias, that, a little bias context yeah. to the stands their captain. Yeah, as well, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, uh, I think I think Stan also last season. So for me, and I haven't like looked at the data strictly, but for me, it seemed like L- Lurgan's season last year was a bit meh. Like obviously he got the qualification. Um, but aside from that tournament, everything else seemed like kind of average. Whereas yeah. Stan had a lot better showings last season as well. So Quite. Shan's yeah, like, Stan's like kind of yeah, um, yeah, proving a bit more consistency. My my, my votes Lurgan just because for consistency of of I had people that that's had fine. Been you got your criteria. Mm-hmm. I yeah. think a bunch of us had Paul Lasha on our list, right? Are we all locking Paul Lasha for this one? Uh, I I, I, think so. Paul, I think so. I haven't put Paul Lasha in in this one. Um, because I had stuff being... Stan, Rise, Elite, which I think I think they're pretty locked in, right? Yeah. Well, Most... Elite's already on the list too, right? And so it Stan. So do you know what? Pa- Wait, Paul has been murking it. It's actually yeah, yeah. Now it's actually. All right, insane. let me let me go through it. She also made Top Cut last year at Worlds, right? Or day two? I don't yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. Top, top, yeah. Top so like, look, look at her last like eight performances. Fourth yeah. at UIC that just happened. Thirteenth Dortmund. Third Stuttgart, fifth Gdansk, twenty fifth Barcelona, but then thirteenth tw- uh, at Worlds last year, and then first in, Tor- in Torino last year. I mean, you're talking about last year. That's she's only done nine tournaments, so, so she's True. that's pretty much her entire like competitive record. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, we put Rubik's Master up there with 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 four with four. No, no, no. I'm not saying that's yeah. a bad thing. I just think it's yeah, funny yeah. you said last eight when you just named like yeah, almost true, true, everything true. she's done. Yeah. <laughs> you might as well name the first one. Yeah, yeah, true, true. yeah, yeah. I one. thought she had two pages. No, no, no. no, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but she didn't debut until UIC yeah. last year, so. Yeah. To be honest, looking looking at her like at these placements, I, I feel pretty like she's consistent. a good contender for that. It's Not, like good, obviously at, at the top fourth, last four, well, after the last third, four tournaments, fifth. yeah, the, for, three out of the four world. were top five. She she yeah. has the same consistency as status stand, but then a higher top end mm. and less tournaments and the played. Thing as well. Yeah, less tournaments played. Won yeah, and, and she's won one. That's fair. That's fair. And she cooks. <laughs> it's yeah. yeah it's not easy to cook with a magnet so let me tell you that yeah. um i faced one of my one of my locals ran paul Osh's team against me in our in our challenge and uh it was it was not having a good time he's on magnet <laughs> every time too <laughs> <laughs> um okay i had i had inadequance on mine which i feel like i feel like inadequance has got a good uh thingy for it as well you know because yeah. when he is competing Obviously, he dropped it's off a little, on his, It's a like, little, like, streaky the here, there, after Toronto yeah. and Liverpool were a little bit, like, inconsistent. But yeah, outside of that, true. it was super consistent. It was literally top cut all the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you say, like, oh, well, his worst performance was Liverpool, well, his best performance was the tournament right after. So, it's not yeah. like he yeah, got rusty. Fair. So, in my opinion, he has literally the almost exact resume of Lurgan. But Lurgan's is just, like, 2 to 5% better. But Wait, it's why? reversed. It's reversed. Lurgan's was all from the past, like from 2022, and Inadequance's top all stuff is all recent. recent. So on paper, I looked at them side by side. Lurgan had a slight edge, but the fact that Inadequance did the things more recently, I feel like that's what you guys would value more. Yeah, especially if we're talking about Worlds this year, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think... You know, just scribble it on there for now. I'm happy to yeah, put Martin on there. Yeah. yeah, you can scribble it on there. Yeah. Um, I think Zardi should be on here at this point if he wasn't from the previous list. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Did we put Rick Flarion on this one? No, but yeah. I think we can. Yeah, I, I think, I think we should. On this one, so yeah. we have Status Sam, Paul Asha, and Adequan Zardi, Rick Flarion. A lot of EU on this one. We have one yeah. spot left. Are we going with the yeah, impact? Are, are we throwing yeah, in like are we, are we overvaluing EU right now? <laughs> I don't know. No, that's, no, see, you know what the thing is? <laughs> but this is why I have you here to keep us grounded, <laughs> no, right? No, but look, look. <laughs> yeah. it, like, I, and I don't know why this is, right? Yeah. But you know what we were saying about the fact that like EU seems to have more recognizable names than um, NA, right? Yeah, because NA strong at the top, you know, you are good in the tier three. Can you, can you bring up other people who, you know, fit this like general sort of record as well from na dune because a none come to my mind personally dune well, yeah, but no but Lyle. Lyle's there are people that are well. above those yeah NA yeah, is, yeah na is top yeah. heavy and is top heavy it's like the best like some of the best like top five players are all in a and then in the middle i think eu definitely has like more standout names than na uh, 
Yeah. True. True. Yeah. But I think in, ter- I- in terms of resume, I'm not. I'm not even saying like in terms of who's better. But once again, last two last two years, Worlds, Asia, six out of out of two top eighteen. So out of a top sixteen of the last two years, Asia has six trainers. NA has four trainers. Latam has three trainers, and Europe has three trainers. So I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Are we? Are no, we? Over, are we over? I have to record this every week. Are we? Are we over? Inserting? Yeah. How come you don't got the EU hero scaffold on here yet? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he saved you all. Uh, yeah. Scaffold, the well, only one last year. Stuff insane. I think Scaffo Scaffo's a good player. What, this season it's only been EUIC where he's like Scaffo's oh, no, like really expect. consistent. I just, just thought, he yeah. just doesn't have the championship like the, the yeah. titles. He's, he's really good in the biggest game. stages. Like he has really yeah. good performances that like on in the biggest tournament. So like yeah. last remaining European in, in Worlds twenty twenty three. I'd be it, happy dashing him as a two dollar. Yeah, uh, yeah, maybe. Ah, we know, um, I, I, the whole point is we were putting too much EU. Yeah, now you're yeah. dashing it more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on. Now. All right, so we got a spot here for potentially Rise or APAC play. We don't have an APAC player. Nor any I can't player, think actually. of an APAC player that we'd put there. Uh, the ones that have been mentioned were... Beelzy Boy. Beelzy Boy, Beelzy Boy Yetaruno, I just Roy. wish he had more data points. Yeah. And Alva Empire as well. Roy, Roy, Wait, did we put Nava in, in there? No, Nava yeah, Empire's not here uh, yet. <laughs> you want you want to do now Empire <laughs> over Rock Well, why don't we? Oh uh, yeah, I don't know. You had Hal Stark on here, but I feel like Hal Stark doesn't have enough data points or consistency. What about what about Booty? It, doesn't he have like two years of Worlds? Yeah. Yeah, but so does Rise. Oh, but yeah. I was trying to pick someone from APAC. Well, I know. I mean, yeah. I guess it's Booty, either we yeah, go with someone from APAC or someone from over, NA because there's no one in NA here either. I, yeah. I vote APAC just because of. Not getting canceled. <laughs> no, no. I just if, if you literally look at the numbers, like they have the highest know, know, representations. When are we gonna not add anyone? <laughs> um, wait, what is going on on Dracovis? I'm looking at Booty. It shows that Booty's yeah. three opponents were himself. The notion. Um, it's nice because, like, basically, <laughs> all the, nah, yeah. all the. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? In... If you look at Booty's Dracovis profile, if you click on this world data, he went 0 2 against himself and he went 2 0 and then 2 1 uh, against yeah, himself. Yeah, yeah. What is that? That's my fault. Um, basically, the thing <laughs> that's, that's my fault. Basically, the thing is with, with the Asian tournaments, yeah, we can't pull the data in the same way. And so, this what is I was Worlds, doing not was Asian Worlds. Worlds. Is that Worlds? Yeah, Worlds yeah. 2023. Was... Like Who is running matchup. this scuffed site? Uh, right? Oh, okay, yeah, I don't know. Wait, what Booty's wild too. Booty be facing off himself in the Korea playoffs yeah, as well. Yeah, that's what I'm Booty saying. Yeah, battled himself <laughs> twice there. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty impressive when your only loss is to yourself. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what. I, I, this is actually okay. the first time I've seen Booty's this, data so. in in the first year of worlds is is correct. Yeah, we will. Uh, he lost a Sassy and will... Rob, but he beat King Avrip and Gobius. Well. And yeah. who do you think is the best remaining trainer from APAC region that we haven't put on this list? Well, I guess Booty should go on there, right? Because, again, he's got a similar um, resume to Luminous. Yeah. Um, and considering, like, the limited amount of data points we have and the fact that he has qualified for playoffs. Yeah, he just qualified as well. Yeah. yeah so, okay. yeah. He's at I'm least cool in that. contention. Yeah, I'm happy with that too. All right. Well, yeah, we'll, I feel like we'll Rizication definitely has to make it to this list now. But oh, for sure. let's let's hear your tier two butters. Uh, it's the thing. The thing is, though, like it's okay if we, some of them are even named. We've yeah. already put yeah, it. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's I had I had Rubik's here because literally he hasn't won one, so yeah. he didn't qualify. And then I had Vish in this list. I think he needs to be here by now. Like in the in the two dollar. Yeah. I had uh, Inadequance. I had Paddleman, and I had Luminous. I'm sorry, Padman is this far down your list because he won one too. Yeah, I think maybe that was like he has more consistency. But I was like, when I had the people from you, I had Lurgan and Paul Lasha over him. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that maybe that could have been disrespecting Padman. I think I saw some comments <laughs> in the chat about how you should be higher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you have for your tier two, Tomahawk? Uh God, it's hard to remember. Because everyone's filtering down, so let's yeah. go with. You can just say your original tier two, because my, my original was yeah, but my original was bad. The more I look at it, but it was Nava Empire, uh, 
Martine was on it, but he yeah, he should be higher. Yakai was on it. Rubix was on it, but only because I'd forgotten to write him earlier. BJ <laughs> BJ was on it as well because BJ. he won the Thailand okay, one. Okay. Um and because he's been really high on the leaderboards as well. So he's yeah, clearly yeah. in form right now. Yeah. Uh I'd written Arrow, but I don't know if he's I don't I don't know. I was running I I was I had like one minute left. I was just writing down players I could think of off the top of my head by this point. I I like um BJ Nava Yekai and <laughs> <laughs> this man's struggling. I don't like, want to say it first. <laughs> well, first. It's gonna look worse. So I'm sandwiching between these players. <laughs> I, literally, I literally caught those hesitation. Be like, well, I guess I know him first. So let's throw him second. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think I think like those four within like the one to two dollar area. Yeah, with there's like. Yeah, I think those right, four. Who was it? BJ Nava and who else? I didn't even catch the last two. Yekai and uh, Vish. Okay. I feel like those four within the one to two dollar area, in my opinion, I feel like that's fine for Asia considering all the data points we have. I think that's pretty good. Mm. Right, here's my list. Oh, it gets weird here. I threw myself on there. I got Caleb. Yeah. I got Tauntaun Batus. Okay. Caleb's cancelled again. I got Arrow. <laughs> <laughs> I got Lurgan. I have Tomahawk here and I have Z's wireless. Oh, yeah. I forgot about Zwyler. Yeah. So these are, this is where it gets a little different. I mean, I think we should agree that Rise probably makes out here by now. Rise, right? Rise yeah. has Inadequance also made the list yet or no? Yeah, yeah. He, he was tier three. Yeah, yeah. I think Rise, Rise definitely though. goes. Rise is someone yeah. we've named a decent amount that hasn't made. Yeah, yeah Rise yet. definitely goes on this one. For so, sure. Some some that have dropped for me is is how Stark and Lurgan haven't haven't made the list yet. I'm just throwing those out there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Stark's I a tough one because he played really well last yeah. year, first in Baltimore and sec, uh, third at U, uh, NAIC. It's just he doesn't play many tournaments. He doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I would say Valiant Vish too is someone who who I think Vish is really considered for this list. Yeah, yeah two two Vish two is, years uh, of top cuts. Yeah. I had Valiant Vish earlier on mine, so yeah. Yeah, I That's think fine. I think Vish on this one seems fair. All right, let's be real. You don't think I deserve to be number two? <laughs> two dollars. I, I think so. I, I think potentially. I, yeah. I, I've gone to. I mean, again, I've gone to four regionals. Like... I went to three grand finals out of the four, and then went to one international yeah. made top cut there. I beat Probably. the reigning world champ and on the way. I beat well, the runner up of the worlds as well. I, I have <laughs> an easy answer point. because I've been consistent with no, my criteria no the whole time. So, so I'm not the one to ask, but yeah. Well, I'm asking for your subjective opinion now. Wait, so can we, can we just can we just go through? Have we got which tier is Rise in? He's currently not tiered yet, unless we put him in so tier. He's, two. Okay, he well he needs to be in, right? Yeah, agreed mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, yeah. Have we yep. did we ever put Beals Boy in? No, no, but I don't no. know. Personally, I don't know if I'd put him in over the others because obviously he had a good run yet. recently, but okay. he wasn't in Worlds the last two years. Sure. Yeah. So and this we, is the only. Are we putting Yetaruna in after her back-to-back -back sweeps or no? Uh, let me look at Yetsurunos again. I just remember it was like the international tournaments weren't as... Anyway, so, yeah, so third place at Worlds uh, for, for South Korea yeah. 2023. But then she went she went 0 2 in Worlds last year. And the mm. thing that threw me off was she... Oh, she just no-showed on Melbourne. She signed up. Oh, yeah, yeah, up. yeah. She didn't show oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. I thought, like, I was like, man, you got 49th in Melbourne? That's not I would great. say we also I, skipped over Lurgan. Lurgan has a games. pretty good so, resume. And even if you ignore the, the beginning one. part, he has a decent recent you also resume, hear me? Too. Yeah. Is um, Caleb frozen for everyone else? Or is uh, it just me? Yeah, yeah. It's quite peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe he put himself in? Outrageous. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you kind of need to wait for someone else to I, say. I it. knew. <laughs> I knew when he was like selling up Rubik's Master at the, the tier four is he was just leaving, uh, just leaving yeah. the groundwork for yeah. you can be ranked if you only have second places. So yeah. let me just put Rubik's Master all the way in second tier because he's all second places. And then Letting there be president. And then when <laughs> and then when you get to me, then it will make sense now that he's on the list with all second places as well. <laughs> Can we can we collectively agree that we're not even putting Caleb as a one dollar option? Oh, I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs>
I just want to see his reaction more than anything. Yeah. Uh, he's yeah. doing this for reaction, so let's give him yeah. one. No, but it's funny because uh, we'll vote and he'll lose on the master list. Yeah. Like, we're all yeah. going to vote for him not to be on the list. <laughs> uh, so it's, I think, it's inevitable. I think also the way this software works is it still records us all. And so he'll yeah. get all this at the end. Gotcha. So he, Good. he won't realize until, like, the episode comes out because I don't think he listens to it all either. Uh, like that's that's fine. So. I, I, we, the thing is, we're now in the like. Butters and I were just like forced to do this. We're like, oh, we'll join a podcast, and then we get <laughs> we get lumped with this, and we're like, oh, yeah. this isn't what I, we I want. I didn't know. I didn't know we were going to do this either. Today. Yeah, as soon as I saw it, I was I, like, I didn't understand it. No, I mean, look, it's. I don't think it was. I get if to it, understand. Yeah, I, I, no, okay, but, uh, so I, I understand that now we're making the tier list for other people to use, but yeah. I think it would have made sense if like there was already a tier list for us to use and then we made our teams. Yeah, That's what I thought we were going to do. I get you, but I but think then, the point is, the point Caleb wants is that we're the ones that provide other people with that. Right, okay, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, but either way, I, as soon as I saw it, I was just like, oh, this is this is just purposely <laughs> oh, here designed we go. to create <laughs> uh, here we, drama. Wait, can y'all hear me? Yeah, 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 we can. Oh, sorry, my, my Wi-Fi yeah. dropped. Uh, no worries, no worries. Now. We didn't uh, really say anything. You didn't say anything? <laughs> yeah, no, no. Okay, so last thing uh, we're talking about is Yetaruna, at least based on um, what I was listening to. What uh, mm. what were your thoughts on it? Should we go with Yetaruna here? I think Yetaruna is difficult only because of her world's performance. Yeah. That's that's like my thing, in it? Because yeah. otherwise, in all the other... Um, you know, she's only ever played three tournaments. Mm -hmm. um, oh, okay. She's played four tournaments total, including Worlds. Yeah. And the other three, her lowest place was third. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Um, and I think that also means, like, I think when I looked at her, um, oh, I can't remember now, but like, how many, how many games did she even drop on the, uh, on the, the Korean one? Hard. Yeah. I feel like it was not very many. I can't yeah. see it. Oh yeah, she dropped. Oh, okay, she dropped uh, five. Okay, um, but uh, yeah, I'm 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 why not why sure. Don't we, why don't you I'm park sure. it for now and just go yeah. through the ones that we feel are more? So okay, currently, so who do we have on it? We have Caleb? Rise and uh, Valiant Vish. Okay. Okay. Did we? Did, what were the thoughts on uh, Yekai? Yekai, I think, is probably good for one. Thinking about it. Okay. Yeah, and B yeah. BJ one as well. I had EJB actually on tier three of mine before. I I don't know about EJ this season though. That's the only thing. Well, let's assume if he worlds? goes to worlds. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't think, know think he's, he's going, going this year. Worlds. Has he qualified? Because I think he's not ha been able to do any. I think locals. it's more so the uh, the travel is too expensive. Yeah, but I think like he's still worth someone to add to the list. Look, we're, we're uh, in the territory now where you've just got so many good players. That yeah, we're struggling. We're always going to struggle to fit. I, I feel like you'd put Lurgan in there before BJ, uh, before EJ. Sorry. Yeah, I think Lurgan has the yeah. best yeah. resume okay. for EU remaining. Well, Lurgan was on my tier two list originally yeah. too. So, um, so we got Rise, Valiant, Lurgan. I think BJ is a de decent shout because he also BJ's um, good, but it's just he's only done well at Thailand tournaments. He was top. He was he number one on the leaderboard as well, the, wasn't he? So it's not. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, GPL leaderboard is different, though, right? I mean, yeah, I, I, do, think is, I do think it has nearly top cut right? that yeah. um, American tournament, but he like misclicked. Do you know what I mean? In it, it's like I feel like that's a that's okay. Like let's let's let's, let's take a look at it, right? So so twenty twenty two eighth and APAC, right? Um, okay. And then twenty twenty three, he went one two in a NA regional Fort Wayne. He got first in time playoffs last year and this year. He went one two at Worlds last year, and he went three two at a regional in NA. Yeah. So uh, if if your only uh, non Thailand tournaments mm -hmm. is yeah one two one two and three yeah, two, uh, I don't know. I think if, like, if would you compare that to oh, <laughs> he's frozen again. Oh, I think sorry. if you... did I, did I cut out again. Sorry, my wife is still spotty. Wait, so would you put him on the same level as Rise? And Valiant Vish, it's a little harder sell. But I'd rather put Roy Roy there. I'd rather put Roy Roy because he's got seventh place at World and a first place South Korea. What about playoffs. Chiodo and Ishikawa Boy as well? Yeah, like I again, I think those make more sense. No, yeah, hang on, yeah, BJ yeah. too. He's like, but I don't know if I'd put them on there just because also less data points for Roy Roy. For I think all three of them, Chiodo, Ishikawa Boy, and um, 
We got we do have, Master yeah, in, but, in Tier 2, and he's got, like, yeah. two tournaments. Well, no, no, but the thing with the data points is the data points you do have a BJ outside the Thailand ones aren't high-performing, though. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. But also, we do have Luminous already on the list, don't we? Yeah. So we can't we write, do, yeah, off, we do, yeah. can't write yeah. off these guys just because of data points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Incredible I thought Lu Luminous Chiodo was such a fun match that I think Chiodo needs to be on here soon because that was that was a good match. I'd be okay with that. I'll put Chiodo over Ishikawa Boy. Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah, fair. All right, I'll throw. So we got Rise, Valiant, Lurgan, Chiodo. I had Z's Wilds on my original list mean, as well as uh, Arrow. Wait, have we still not got Beelzeboy Boy yet? We're still no, not. Beelzeboy Boy. Beelze Boy's so tough. I don't know if like... I'd put him on there. Okay. Because he's yeah, just got this only taunt, this yeah. taunt. And not Nava Empire either. <laughs> yeah, Nava. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> I, I want to put Nava Empire. I'm the one to bring it up again. So. <laughs> I at least want to put him in the $1. Oh, can, okay. you, can you list all the people we have so far? Yeah, yeah we got Dune, Crescent, Hard Jeff, Emmy Weedle, Axon, Yakova Vision, the tier five. Okay. We got the $4 tier. We got Lyle, Colin, Potamon, Rubik, Steiner, Luminous. Uh, on the third tier, we have Sassam, Paul Lasha, Inadequate, Zardi, Rick Flareon, Booty. And we're on tier two right now. Rise, Valiant, Lurgan, Chiodo. So we never put Elite on either. Yeah, where was Elite? Yeah, Elite uh, would be on somewhere. Oh, I yeah. Mean, why? I thought Elite was... We can put him, we oh, can put him oh, in elite, this I, Oh, Elite should be on tier three at this point then. I thought yeah. we had Elite earlier. I forgot yeah, that we, we didn't put him on. Tier three. Who's on tier three again? So uh, tier three, we got Sastan, Paul Lasha, Inadequance, Zardi, Rick Flary, and Booty. Maybe we move Zardi down? Because he's no, sort we, of like... Zardi I feel like down over Sastan? We'll move that's one from consistent. EU down, I think. We well, yeah, EU, but the thing is, like, we'll Zardi's won two tournaments. Sastan hasn't won a single one, right? Yeah. That's true. That's I guess Sastan's consistent, but... How has Zardi been this season? I haven't checked. He's I'm been more, decent. This I'm more consistent than Stan Sand if you don't want to talk about consistency. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't want to talk about I don't want to talk about <laughs> Zardi. Uh, I think we put Lee at as... recently 13th at an IC, fifth place this season as well. He's and... topped every uh yeah. every tournament this yeah. season. Yeah, he's been solid this season. Okay, so Stan oh, is going I guess, down I guess that was a and Elite is going into three. Yep. So what does that leave our three as? Uh, Elite, Paul Lasha, Inadequate, Zardi, Ric Flair, and Booty. That actually allows NA to have a spot in t three as well. So we have like most regions sure. represent. Actually, we had every. Yeah. We have. Yeah, we have every region represented in the top three tiers. Let's go. Le uh, okay. Wait, where was Rubik's? Well, I guess it depends on. Yeah, what, what, I mean, depends on. Oceania is kind of like weird if how you want to determine representation there, but there's no yeah. Oceania. I, I think the Oceania team. one's fine, though. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I feel like even if we just had like. Jakobovic, Vish, and Rick. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think it's fine. Well, so right now we have Rise, Lurgan, Valiant, Chiodo, Sadistan. We don't have a Latam representative here. I'm not sure about Chiodo in that. What about, is it LNDS Kanan? Uh, I don't know if I'd put Kanan in this. He's, uh, he's good, but. No. He's good, but I think his, yeah, his his is like very, very recent. In which um, case, would you say that any Latin players get in on any of the remaining tiers? Uh, that's true. I think uh, we should, yeah. Hmm. I think we should. I had, nice I had Chris. I had Marto in yeah. my in my tier five, but it was really hard because I wanted, I wanted uh, I don't to know also about get someone from Latam that wasn't also like from Brazil because you know Latam is Brazil, yeah yeah. Just Brazil. Uh, Brazil. Uh, wait, what about some of the Seven Eleven guys? They go to a lot. That's true, actually. And Andrew Manharis has a decent, but he's basically in A because he competes like majority of his competitions yeah. in in North America. Ice Chris America. did okay. What about so, so Javier Iomero and Manharis? What what are they saying? I, I looked at guys? Javier and I looked at Manjares and I, I felt because I, I did the whole thing of like total resume. So Mardo has a better total resume because he's won he's he's won a championship and he has a top five at worlds. So I, I put him ahead, but I, I'm open But he to had a terrible people. season last season, right? Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I, I, yeah. I did it differently than you guys, but yeah, I think we should have one more person from last that season. wasn't terrible. But... Why do here's here's a suggestion. Why don't we Balls dollar two for now. Have a look at dollar one, and that might help That's, shape. I like what, that plan. I like that yeah? idea. Yeah. Okay. All right. So right now we got we can always uh, adjust tier two. Right now we have Rise, Valiant, Lurgan, Chiodo, Sazan. You want to take Chiodo off? I like the other four for sure. I'm unsure about Chiodo in that in that um, well, in the okay. two dollar. Well, I'll put an asterisk next to that one. 
Okay. All right. What we got in the one dollar tier? Yeah, kind of nothing. What was what was, was on your original tier? I, I guess had, I had on my original. I had Booty, which has already gone higher. Yeah. I had BJ Padawat okay. because of what he just did, and he'll be the lone representative for Thailand. I have Phil Technical. I have twenty three EJB. I have Nighttime Clasher, and I have Mardo. What was your reasoning for Tho? Look, I it's, it's ain't personal, right? But if you look at those record versus my record, it's not even close. <laughs> but there's yeah. none of us, one of us has won a championship. It's not even yeah. close. <laughs> you know, I don't know uh, if I'd put Tho there either, to be honest. You know, I I think Tho is like a top. This is what your Twitch chat was saying, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah. it, this was a clutched tier for me. I did I did get this one at the buzzer. <laughs> I, I will say that. I got this one at the buzzer. Yeah. Okay. So I'm open to hear your guys', but I think out of merits from this list, I feel like twenty three EJB probably stands out the the most in terms of total and Mardo in terms of total like resume. And like high end has won a championship, but I'm well, curious to see what you guys have for tier one. I I just think we've left too many players off for players who haven't won something to be on this part. So so I wrote down some names of some players, uh, not necessarily who I'm saying should be in this, but just mm-hmm. names of players that we don't have. So for example, uh, well Avrip, he's done well obviously in Oceania. Yeah. He did well at Worlds. Tonton, got an IC yeah. winner. Yeah. I've not yeah, mentioned I him yet. Too. Yeah, so surely Tonton needs to be um, at some point. And then, uh, uh, Anakul, you mentioned Yakai somewhere here, mm-hmm. around one. Obviously, BJ we've not put in yet. Um, are we putting any of the Indian players in? They're gonna they're gonna throw a hissy fit. I think we... Scarlet Wiz deserves. <laughs> I know Scarlet Wiz not competing this year, but from a current yeah, slate of so. players, because like we're not we, we're not guaranteeing that all these players are even going to worlds for sure. Yeah, like we don't two know times a lot of the Japanese players are, two, but two times qualifying from India. Yeah, yeah so, I, so, so I have so, these. I have Beasel Boy in my in my four dollars tier because he's the one that's guaranteed going to be going to worlds. Cause yeah, but I think we, we can't rely just on that, right? Yeah. Uh, like if they're active right now, right? Like yeah. someone that's like like with yeah. Dodge is like retired. Like he's regardless if he goes to worlds or not, it's not going to be a good time, right? Whereas someone here like Gar was. Maybe he doesn't go worlds this year, but still like top of his game and could easily, you know, take off some big names. I think Scarlet or Nava as the What's your what's your reason for Nava over Scarlet again? I, I don't actually I'm just trying yeah, to understand yeah, the I wasn't, the Nava I wasn't thinking about Yeah, I wasn't thinking about um Scarlet at the time, but you make a good point that like Scarlet's got a better Yeah. Um like, well, Scarlet got like what? It. Second last year and then yeah. And then third this to year. Be, to be to be fair, if we know that Scarlet's not going, probably shouldn't put him because we've not put Wadaj on the list. And he played That's this true. season. Whoa. We That's know true. he's not going. Okay, yeah, fine, fine. Okay, so so then I guess like yeah. all these these are definitely people that we know for sure are going to Worlds or have a still a chance to go to Worlds. Like like Crescent so. Angels. Well well, they're well, like right? people that we don't know are not going. Okay, yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. Like, yeah. I, I want to okay, build right, teams from this that. list that if one person on my team wins Worlds, I win the whole thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> is Tho is Tho going to Worlds? I don't know. I don't know. I think probably. He I, don't know. I think, is he, I think he said he'd only go if he got the travel award, so I don't. Uh, yeah. Peak. Uh, so is anyone guaranteed on this on this part yet? Is there anyone we're like, you have to be on this? Well, well, well what's, your, what's, your, what's actually on your tier one? Uh, your original my one, original yeah. one yeah oh, it's okay if it's different than what we're yeah, was, going at right now but it was uh booty okay uh chiodo okay Zard- zardi okay. is here uh i have some names written down is yodada i think i saw that he just done well at some oh, point uh, so well just... he he won the yeah, Thailand. they haven't last done year. They haven't done the Taiwan one. Oh, sorry, Taiwan one. Yeah, sorry, I see yeah. Taiwan, Taiwan. Okay, so, I, at this point, I was just flicking through people who had done well previously and just picking random names. So I have Tonton, uh, I, I Chiodo, Luminous, and Ishikawa Boy all just written together because I didn't know who was. I don't know who was. Mm. Better, Ishikawa just, Boy, I need to see more data. I feel. Person, you know what? I feel like I'd put Ishikawa Boy over Chiodo. Really? Uh yeah. Just because it's like second place PJCS. And then, like, obviously, 
I feel like their finishes in Worlds, obviously, you know, Childers was higher, but I feel like it's like still relatively comparable. I, I don't know, I though, like but like every, just a few I, placements in Worlds is a big difference. I feel like every game. five minutes you change who's the uh, APAC represented, <laughs> who's like represented in APAC. Like every five minutes, you're like, you know, yeah. I think Chiodo, You're supposed to be the APAC pro here, Anikor. What's going on? I think Chiodo is ahead of Luminous. <laughs> and five minutes later, I think, I think, uh, <laughs> I think Ishikawa boys over Chiodo. Yeah. The five minutes later, you're gonna go back to Nava Empire. <laughs> okay, home. okay, 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 okay. Um, we leave off Yekai because he might not go to Worlds. Okay. Yeah. So we leave off Yekai. Um, Nava has to be on this tier if we're not putting Scarlet Wiz on. <laughs> oh, that's your <laughs> yeah. right here. Okay. Okay. Is um, Nava going? Is Nava definitely going? Nava's trying to no, go. No, but the yeah, thing is, Beelzee Boy's not even on this list. Wouldn't Beelzee Boy take the press? Yeah, but Nava? I think Nava's got more consistency than Bills Boy because of last year's tournaments as well. What do you mean? What what is what happened last year that Nava Empire did that I'm not third. aware of? He got He's so misinformed. Yeah, Why are we he making got, these decisions? He got ninth last year. Yeah. He went one two in the playoffs <laughs> in India. <laughs> what? Yeah, what's the Wait. uh This is your oh, website, right? Okay, right? yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I guess I'm very misinformed. It's bad man. I thought I thought you want. I'm just trying to understand what the uh Wait, maybe do you know what? I'm not going to lie. I think No, I know you're doing the grassroots APC wrong. stuff, but that that doesn't No, no, no. I think that... maybe the date is wrong. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's like oh there's no way he went one two the data's wrong no 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 the no th- wait, wait, let me let me let me see let me see let me see let me see, let me okay, see. you take a look at that i'll read my six while you're looking into that yeah go on so then. i have uh andres nah, i'm bugging i'm bugging i'm bugging yeah i think we yeah. all realize you're potentially bugging yeah. i have andres i had rick flareon bealsy boy i'd rise on this one but we already placed him earlier i agree with that placement and then uh i have nighttime and then i just threw in the last slot like any any potential regional champion that we have. In there. I think Nighttime Clash could be in there. I don't know if Andres No, is but really I wouldn't put Nighttime there now, given some of the people that aren't listed yeah, from true. earlier. Like, I think Z's Wilds would go higher than Nighttime. Yeah, but he's not going, is he? Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's not going. So I guess we take him off the list. <laughs> Sorry, can um, we, surely we're putting Tonton on there. Yeah, yeah, I had Tauntaun on my tier too. I would put Tauntaun. Because he got okay, second at a grand, he got a grand finals and a regional this season too. So should we put Tauntaun into two? Because I think we had a space there, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, would you put him in two for like this year's performance though? I'd put I yeah, put I'd put arrow in two over Tauntaun. I had I had arrow in as well. So we should decide. We should put Beelzy Boy here, right? Yeah. Instead of Nava. Yeah. I'm I'm good with that. Dude, I feel like a part of Anacor's dying. He doesn't know what to say. He's like, <laughs> yeah. what do I say? The data doesn't support my shenanigans anymore. <laughs> All right, well, let, let the record show that I was a Nava believer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what were you going to say? Look, I would love Nava to prove us wrong world. It's like, I, I, like, I think this... Um, I, I think Arrow deserved to be in two or one, for sure. I'm, I'm happy to put him in there. Yeah, I mean, there are, like I say, there are loads of players. He hasn't won a championship, be. so you could argue yeah. that maybe he goes in one. Yeah, what yeah, one, one? One is. I don't know if I think. Like, it. yeah, it's hard because, like, I, I, I put it all differently. Where, like, I put total resume. So I like how Stark is. He's a regional champion in top three in an yeah. IC. So it's like I had him but, higher. Cause, well, yeah. what's how Stark's run this season? Because I think just like fourth in Orlando. Like that's it. Yeah, I think, fourth much. and seventeenth at Charlotte. Yeah. Which is honestly not a lot of data points. Like it honestly yeah, could so be it's, like, it's, it's, but he it's didn't tough. do as well as Arrow did at Worlds. He got thirty third. Arrow got. I got just feel like Arrow's a little more on point with his game because he's just been playing a lot more. Yeah, he, Arrow he got seventeenth have... at Worlds last year. He lost it with Dodge and Tauntaun, right? Like those are not easy opponents. And then yeah, he got ninth at UIC. Like it's not. These are. And he got second. Honestly, the big brain year. thing is to leave the one dollar one empty and then go on Twitter and say like, "Who who did we miss? Who should be in the last tier?" <laughs> we can we can leave a final spot for one dollar tier. I like that, right? Yeah, it's like we have yeah. five, and then we have uh, yeah, who's pick, missing? Like who pick, got snubbed? Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. I'll throw myself in there for sure. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> Are we I'm judging it based on like the amount of likes? Yeah. Well, no. There's a lot of regional winners that we haven't named as well yeah, too. Yeah. So I think yeah, it's like yeah. I would okay, still so put Andris wh- here though, because she got top uh, cut at Worlds mm-hmm. last year, and then uh, got what's second. Our, what's our two? At, what's She's our tier two at the moment? This season. What's right. our tier two at the moment? Uh, so tier two we have Rise, Valiance, Lurgan, Chiodo, Satisan. 
I think if you're putting a, another European in here, it has to be Tonton. Yeah, he's won an he's won an IC, and he's got a final this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah I had him in my original too, actually. So. Are, are we all in agreement that then he he is going here then? Yeah, yeah. I'd say yeah, so, I'd especially if EJB's yeah. not on the table because he's not going. Yeah. So we have Tonton. Okay, so we round our our tier two. We'll leave a free space for tier one. So we have Beelzy Boy, Arrow. Uh, Are we yeah. putting Ishikawa or BJ? I would put BJ here. Okay. I don't know about Ishikawa. There's just not enough data points, right? I still had I still had Ro Roroy who uh, won a, a South could Korean. could be interesting. He won a South Korean uh, qualifier and got seventh last year in the world. What's Roroy's but... placement right now in Korea? No idea. He didn't <laughs> take part in the, yeah. the first, first qualifier. Okay. And I don't know yeah. if he's taken part in the second qualifier because I think he said yeah. he's not going to compete this year. Oh, uh, Then let's take him off then if he's not competing this year. Yeah. And I, I would like to get one person. Should we put Avrip Latam, here? Like one, I don't one know. from Latam that's not also Brazilian. I think. I think no. I think Ice Chris could be good. I, I, I looked know. at. I what looked about at the three we were saying? So what was it? Javier Iomero and Andrew Manjares. Iomero's like consistent, like top twenty-ish, but nothing like he hasn't made. He hasn't broken anything past like, like top eight. I think. Outside of his first year, right? I mean, he's very, no, he got fifth at Orlando. That's his highest placement. He got fifth at Orlando and fifth at Vancouver last year, but he competes a lot too. Mar so. Margo's got a pretty good record. I'm not going to lie. His last, he played in March and he got third place as well. Guanya? Yeah. Yeah, but did, did he play recently? No, well, yeah, that, that, was, that, his that was his yeah, recent one. That was his yeah. recent one. Yeah. That was his most recent one. So third one. there, 13 third. But this season has not been amazing. And then. I don't, yeah, he had a good 2022 for sure. Yeah, but that was like pretty long ago. And last yeah, season fair, was just fair. not as much going on. Yeah, fair. I mean, I like Marto too. I just think uh, I would need to see more consistency, I think. Yeah. Wait, well, so we, have we have we got Avrip on this one? That's why I said. I, I said Avrip initially for tier one. I think that's fair, right? He's he's. I feel like, so, I mean, the big three from Oceania are Jakobovic, Valiant Vish, and Rick Flareon. Rick but Flareon. I feel like the fourth person is easily after it right I, th I think like from last march till now he has first place perth ninth worlds fourth melbourne seventh perth that's pretty good in the last year yeah a ninth worlds is not easy yeah and that's back to back solid. worlds competitor as well yeah true, true. like i mean to be, you could criticize that fourth at melbourne is not easy big. either yeah you could criticize maybe perth isn't as big of a regional but Still, pretty really impressive run over the last year. <laughs> yeah, actually, Rocket Claire beat him in back. I was just about to say. Oh, really? Yeah. Rocket Claire's record in the yeah. Honestly, the last one, if she keeps playing like this, yeah, I'm throwing her on the tier list too. Thirteenth, <laughs> ninth, third, and third. That is very impressive. Yeah, I know, we can pencil an average for now, maybe. We have four people here. If we leave a blank space for six for the final one, we we just, we have one spot left. Yeah, so I just was... read out some names that we have written down that I don't think we've mentioned yet. So yeah. uh, I'm just going through. So Yataruna, did we, I don't know if we mentioned Beelzeboy, put him in. Scarlet, we're not doing. Ro Roy, Nava Empire, I can't remember if we've written. Uh, Yakai, BJ, I think we've just written. Ishikawa, Yodada. And that was pretty much it that I mm. can see. I'd written down any of those. And we're we're only missing one from this last year, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's pick someone from APAC then. Let's pick someone from that list. Like, who's the best on that list? It's hard. It's hard for me to tell. I think Roy Roy has a good case, but like we said, we don't know if he'll compete this year. But like in terms of his high end of worlds and then mm. winning up a, a past qualifier, like I feel like he has that high end consistency that that other people on the list have. Uh, I probably put. Yetaruno over Roroy. I think that's fair. Because she's undefeated in the qualifier. She qualified for Worlds last year. What about the first year? Did she qualify? She wasn't playing the game. She wasn't playing. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, you know, she didn't have maybe had the best run at Worlds, but it is Worlds. I mean, even Elite went 0 2, right? So 
uh, lost kind of Stark and Bonnie. We we could live we could leave two open. One for anyone to fill, and then one for someone in APAC because <laughs> yeah, you do you do too much. <laughs> we're misinformed. We're misinformed. Like, yeah, I I think I think we should throw a yes to let everyone inform. Us okay, the last okay, I'm happy with that. I'm Free space. Fine with that. I'm throwing myself in there. <laughs> No, we already voted. I had, to I had Tom Hawk on my <laughs> list too in the tier two. Yeah, but I don't think either of us should be on this. I think we're we're already gonna get cancelled for this. <laughs> we're trying to make a legit list. If we, if we won't even consider everyone that's considerable, then we should uh, get cancelled. I don't. I, I yeah, there is a there is an argument for you to be on there, I guess, but I'd I'd rather just leave it as a question mark. Yeah. I think that's also better. like the like the nature of the game with you know adding up the the money and stuff like that like people are kind of making their own decisions as well yeah. just based on the decisions we've given them so it's like it's not even like we're saying we really covered everyone we're just like yo pick who you we want definitely did latch him yeah. a little dirty though um yeah but you know what it's difficult yeah. because it's like what are the only the only um tournaments outside of brazil were the Mexico City qualifier last year, um, Mexico City qualifier the first year, and then Santiago Regional um, last year. This year, we'll have way more LATAM data points, but they're all happening in this coming month. So we ain't even I'm, got it now. I'm, I'm and let's, actually, let's be, wait, I was just going to say, go let's on, be clear on. that during Worlds, right? During Worlds, when it comes to it, there is going to be someone who's not on this list that is going to wipe the floor with so many players that yes. are on this list, right? True. This is just, go we've got a huge amount of bias because it's players that we know, the players that we've seen do well. No. There's going to be someone. That and they'll probably up. be there from be. APAC. That's someone we reality. forgot about is yeah. JW Naldo. Yeah, I, I had him on my on a list too. I but mean, like I, he didn't win. What's he been doing recently? So, so for this season, right? He got ninth in Curitiba. Not bad. 13th at LEIC. Fourth at Guanya, and then thirty third at Sao Paulo. So third, so the most recent one, maybe not I, the best, but can we can we do the total count for representation of each re region of what we All have right. right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Let yeah, me, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. type it out. Yeah, we okay. got a uh, diversity here. Wait, so we got <laughs> so so and so so for okay, just just maybe just write out like NA. And then, yeah. and then we'll do all the NA in their tiers, and then we'll do after it will go from each region region. So NA we have uh, two in the tier five. Okay. We have uh, which is Dune and Axon. We have Lyle and Rubix in tier four, so that's two. Okay. We have tier three. We have Elites, and that's it for that one. Uh, tier two we have Rise, and that's it. And then there's actually not that much NA players. So crazy from the best region. Uh, tier one we have Arrow, and that's it. So we have seven, right? Yeah, I think. Okay. Oh no, I wasn't it, counting. Yeah. All right, EU next. Yeah. So EU we got Emmy Weedle. Uh, -huh. uh, that's the only one for tier five, and then tier four we have Potamon, and that's it. Actually. Oh, and Colin for okay. tier four. Uh, tier three we have Paulasha and Adequance, and that's it for those two. Uh, and then tier two we have Lurgan. And Satistan and Tauntaun, so three in Oof. that tier. Uh -huh. I know this is where the EU bias came in, I guess. Yeah. And then tier one, we have no one from okay. EU. So EU is I'm slightly up on NA. EU is the better region. Yes. <laughs> First region to go like... out of Worlds last year. Okay. <laughs> like... Yeah, but that's because that's because NA has like the highest ceiling. Like I, I already then... know in in your minds, your your heroes, your your heroes are Emmy Weedle, Dancing Rob, and Scaffold. Because without these three, <laughs> <laughs> you would not know what to say. <laughs> I I actually think as as good as I think Emmy Weedle is, I actually think he's done very well to sneak into that top tier because as Anacor yeah. said. That was his first big performance of the year. And there are a lot of players that have been super consistent yeah. more yeah. recently. But it's an that's it's EUIC one, and it was the biggest ever tournament. Yeah. So mm. fair play to him. But, you three yeah. or do in like yeah, that's not yeah exactly. Beat. Yeah. Okay, so how much for Oceania? I'm I'm separating Oceania from Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's fair. I yeah. think that's yeah. that's a yeah. good call. So Oceania, we got Yukovision tier five. Uh we have tier three we have Rick Flareon, none in tier four. Uh, we have tier two. We have Valiant Vish, and we have Avrip in tier one. So four. So four. Okay. Which is not bad for a smaller region. I, 
I think that's as many as they can expect for this, yeah. right? Yeah. It's as much, yeah. much To be smaller. fair, they those four are like really solid too. Like they're very yeah. consistent as well. So I don't think anyone's surprised by those it, at least. It's kind of not fair because Abrip got literally ninth place. So they technically didn't have a representative in any top eights in the last two years, but they were right on the edge. And yeah, but they're like performing yeah. consistent though, right? Like yeah, a lot of them yeah. made day two. Yeah, and then, exactly, exactly. So it doesn't tell the whole story from just picking the top eight because yeah. they had like people right on the edge. We have Latam next. We have Hard Jeff in tier five, Steiner okay. in tier four. Okay. We have Zardi in tier three. Uh -huh. uh, no one in tier two and no one in tier one. So a little underrepresentation. So we have for three. Latam. Three, yeah. Okay. And then how much do we have for APAC? APAC, we have Crescent and uh, tier five. We have Luminous in tier four. We have Booty in tier three. Uh, we got Chiodo with an asterisk in tier two. I forgot why we put the asterisk there. And they have yet to ruin us tier, <laughs> tier one. So we have we have five there. Okay, five. All right. Okay. So once again, maybe that we don't have, we don't have yeah, any that's... Indian players like from that's India. Like we don't put Bills a boy in. No, we tried no. to do it for like two hours, but you kept telling us no. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no, because I was like, oh, I'd rather put a Nova, but then I guess like if Nova didn't do well in the playoffs last year then fair enough but bills we're gonna get cancelled so no quickly. no no sorry sorry no we do we have bills, bills, bills boys in tier one sorry i missed that one okay yeah bills, so bills, so we have bills, six bills. we have six from apac yeah oh six okay. yeah oh okay. no 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 bj too sorry I'm, my bad my bad yeah yes, we have seven yeah we actually have plenty okay. yeah okay yeah. okay then i think we actually for okay so once again last two years worlds from the the top eights put together that's the top 16 we had six from apac four from na three from LATAM, three from Europe. And then how we picked it out this time for who could win Worlds, we have seven from APAC, seven from NA, only three from LATAM, eight for EU, which yeah, was tied EU, for... Yeah, that for EU the representation, <laughs> we got to cut down somehow. So and the then o o Oceania with, with four. I, think that's I would probably just give LATAM another one. From EU, at least. You should give them two. <laughs> no, we can give more. Given given that given that EU uh, given that EU and Latin both had the same number of representatives in top sixteen combined from both years, doesn't make sense that you have more than double their numbers right now, right? And of course, I'm just I'm just saying. Well, we had a lot of Americans come over for yeah. EUIC, yeah. And how did they do? That's pretty, just pretty good. Okay, well, you had Doonbug into the top eight, and then where was the next American? Not in top eight, right? No other American made top eight. Yeah. So I, I know we didn't. I don't. I don't say we. I had nothing to. I didn't help. Yeah. But I know EU didn't do as well in Worlds, but yeah. Like I don't think that that means they're not gonna that that they're overrepresented here because I think we have had some incredible EU players this season, mm. especially. No, I I don't think there needs to be a change. I'm just we can keep just, it as is. I'm just literally I, putting the numbers. If we give any together. sauce to Latam, it's from yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. And and the thing is, is that like, you know, you you have to blame players like Lyle and Dune because they're actually preventing other NA players getting on here because they've won all the tournaments. Yeah. So you know. <laughs> sure. No, I'm, I'm totally... I'd maybe give Avrip slot to Latam. But then the thing is, I don't know who in Latam to give it to. That's yeah. Uh, yeah. Honestly, I think the list is good. I think people can yeah, say so. who we have missing. And I feel like we tried to do a genuine job of trying to add mm. the people who have a, a good resume, who've been playing well recently. So I I'll like be I very honest. I feel like I'm like, and maybe it's not true, yeah, but I feel like I'm immune from cancellation because of how much I've tried to help these communities. <laughs> you're, you're what? You're what? Uh, I feel like I'm immune from, like, I mean, region bias. I mean, as, as, as a disclaimer, no, you, you don't even know the stats correct on your main guy, uh, Nava Empire, so I don't think you're immune to nothing. <laughs> you're not even immune to your own bias. The only thing I know we're off on is uh, APAC. Because we don't have, like, it's yeah. the hardest disconnect from us because we don't get to witness what they do at the high level because the way we qualify is different yeah. from the way we they qualify. And we just don't have sample size to get a feel for who's the best player. So I know we'll probably be wildly inaccurate with that, but we did try to add trainers that we thought did well in the past and could do well at Worlds as well. So 
we even though we like it's like imagine like it's a sport like you don't get to scout anyone and then they suddenly come over and compete against you it's 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 really tough so i feel like we did our due diligence enough but that's the one we'll be wrong the most because there's going to be a top 16 from worlds and there's going to be like four or five names from apac that are not on list list and it will look silly but otherwise i feel like we did a pretty good job yeah i think it's fair as 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 we keep saying this whole exercise is designed to get people talking. So if you're if you're listening to this or if you're reading this and you're getting annoyed, then Caleb's laughing. Okay, that's that's all you've got to think about. Don't get annoyed. Yeah, I'm not at laughing. This. That's, I, I, don't get yeah, annoyed. When, about when this, you look at this right? list and you feel like, man, my name should be on there, you're thinking the same thing as me because I'm like, I'm gonna go with LA real quick and to prove you all wrong, right? <laughs> yeah. Or I'll take yeah. another second place too. I think that's good too. I'll be at the world record for that one. But um, yeah. also, but yeah. there's probably no point complaining to me because I probably won't see it. So uh, there's honestly no point in complaining in general. These are just our opinions yeah. as is. Like you can make your own tier list. Everyone can make their own tier list if they like. But this is this is what we have. So good, good, uh, good work, everyone. Good, good work on this thought exercise. We did it. We did it. <laughs> I feel pretty good about it. Oh, also, obviously, the way we list them out is not in any particular order. So, if it's like, oh, Dune's ahead of Crescent or whatever. Why? You know, that's just, just what. So, are you going to no, put pictures no or are you just going to put their name? I'll try to do pictures. It's just hard. Because I think these... you can get pictures for a lot of them. For like, a lot well, of them, I can. Or I yeah. could just grab their Twitter profile picture if I want to be lazy about it. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I ain't going to do the then whole crop that job is. that the TCG people did. You're not going to do that, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you know what? There's you like, want to do it? You can like do it. This... How about you do it? This is nah, a job for you. Be... Nah, I... brother, oh, I told oh. you I'm going on holiday tomorrow. Come on. <laughs> yeah. You think I won't be cropping out pictures of... Dude, I don't know. I'm nah, just man. saying, you don't give me a hard time if you're not doing <laughs> that. Uh, no, no, but I'm saying, yeah, what I will say is there's actually this little Adobe tool, yeah, on the web where you just dash a picture in there, yeah, and it will just cut out all the background for you. Yeah, so, but the problem is some of these people don't have pictures for their profile pictures. Yeah. Like, true. where are you going to get a picture of Ruby? You'd have to get the world's ones, yeah. I would have to I'm just sure, like, I'm sure we'll find yeah. a way. We'll find a way. I think the most important thing, right, yeah. is that everyone listening makes sure to, to follow Butters and me on Twitch. And if you want to complain and cancel someone, Anipal <laughs> has the least to lose. So just, just yeah. cancel my account. <laughs> yeah, yeah honestly, call. I'm not going to lie in it. Yeah, like... Like I said, I probably won't even hear it in it. So, you know, <laughs> I won't realize for a few weeks. So, yeah, go go for me. Go for me. Uh, well, speaking about potential cancellations, too, uh, last week, it was right after, uh, right before I posted the podcast, but we re recorded. And some mm. people were DMing and be like, oh, man, you got to re record a new episode. Like, there's so much going on with Turkey and Fleece King and stuff. But, uh, Who's the expert? I didn't really understand it. I'm not going to lie. So even though I was like, oh, yeah, let's record another one. Yeah. I didn't really know what I was going to say because I had no clue what was going on. Caleb, you know, you have like the most clueless co-podcaster that you could have ever picked. Oh, dude. Right? He, he was not my first go-to <laughs> option. Let's just put it that way. I, uh, <laughs> look, I DM some other people and they said they were busier, not interested. So then I was like, eh, Anacor. I know you got nothing else better to Bro, do. So look, look, cool. when it <laughs> look, when it comes to like parts of the game that aren't PvP, yeah. I don't know, man. I just This is pretty I can't even remember what the they were chatting about anymore. Well what were well, they talking about? Okay, so are you familiar with the situation, Tomahawk? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think the the primary issue behind it was that there was an element of deception. And no one wants that, right? Yeah. If if it was if it was just a bit more honest, if it was a bit more transparent. And especially given his profile, given wait, the, can we say what new, the thing was? He he gifted subs uh, he on Fleece Twitch. King. Fleece King gifted subs on Twitch. However, because of his location, uh, for whatever reason, the value of those subs was considerably less. But you don't realize that unless you check afterwards your monetization. Mm. So these these streamers, I think there are lots of streamers that this happened to. Butters, I think this happened to you. So you can yeah, he was a victim oh. to himself. Uh, oh. actually, what's funny is I would have literally never known. Like I would have never known. Like if, if no one mentioned it, I there was no chance I would have known. But, but you yeah, were yeah. live when you got gifted the subs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, was it like, from Fleece King as well? Yeah. It was, uh, I, was doing a, I was doing a legend push and then I hit legend and then hey. uh, he gifted a bunch of subs and then how I many? A uh, hundred? Like, I think 42, something like that. Yeah, like that looks like a, that's a lot when you look at it. So that's how much is that supposed to be? I mean, I guess if like Bullpark. you get 2.5 for 
two two dollars and fifty cents for each sub. So you okay. you can do the math there. It's not like so it's a like around game changing dollars. amount of yeah, money over hundred, yeah, but it's like as as an extra little source, uh, you yeah. know, uh, not little or anything, but like an extra source of income for anyone. It's like it's it's exciting because you you do a lot of like you spend a lot of time dedication. You're doing and, this for free. You know what? You're not expecting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, like, and one aspect of the deception, I suppose, is that no one else in stream knows that these are lower value subs. So everyone else sees it as a very, very generous gift. And so that's why there was a lot of pushback was because it's like, well, hold on a minute. You've been looking to give a certain impression to, to boost your own reputation, but actually you've been lowballing behind the scenes. And I think it's just the deception, right? Just, you know, You've got to be more transparent. You've got to be more honest with these types of things, especially when he's got an increased uh, profile. He's got an increased responsibility. Yeah, and he, I guess also when you thing. have money as well. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like probably no one would care if it was just some random guy. But like, if you're yeah, a I mean, YouTuber, I, think I don't even think no like one, even yeah. if like even like I don't know Fleece King's finances, so I don't think that's even like relevant. Yeah. It's more so if you don't have the finances to do it, just don't do it. Right? Don't make it seem like yeah. you're gifting something it's like it's like buying like someone like the nintendo switch like oh i got you a gift anacor and you open up and it's just an empty box <laughs> it's right? a nintendo yeah. well 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 yeah it's not an empty box it's just a much smaller less value yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, yeah. obviously game boy advance <laughs> yeah no one owes anyone any money and you're yeah, still receiving exactly. some money so that's why it's it's a diff difficult conversation because you're still receiving something yeah but it's an issue because there was deception involved it's an easy thing that, that he could have avoided. Uh, yeah, I think, um, I wouldn't say everyone, but I think a lot of people are in agreement with what Tom Mark's saying in terms of like, it just feels feels a little grimy, right? Because you're, mm. you're, you're presenting something, you're, you're, deceive, you're, you're just deceiving people, right? Because it's not, because pe people know where he's from, right? It's not like if he was from Turkey, and he's buying subs from Turkey, no big deal, right? Yeah, because the mm. subs are from Turkey. But Everyone knows Fleece King's from Australia, so that's where it's confusing, right? Because it not only is a hundred something dollars, but it's supposed to cost two hundred something, which is very generous for anyone to give, right? So you're thinking, oh, someone's dropping two hundred plus of their own dollars just to give me something, like? And I think it was compounded when I, 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 can, I, I don't, I don't know the exact facts, but my understanding is that one of his replies said that he was accidentally logged into the other phone. But then it came out that it had been a repeat occurrence for many, many streamers. So yeah. further deception. And just, been, uh, it was digging a hole. Right? It was digging a hole. And He's been radio the, silent since too. And the only other so, thing is like, I think, especially for the people like that had it gifted to them, I could imagine like I was one of them, you know, I could imagine you feel like some sense of foolishness when like you feel like you're given something and then you react in a way that's like, really exciting since like oh my god he gave me like 40 gifted subs like you're saying thank you a lot of times other people i think they had like huge hype trains and it's like uh, streaming is a performance and also when you know you're trying to say how you're thankful and appreciate and what you're you're reaching a level of appreciation or thank you for what you think is a certain level of subs but then you find out later that it's at a lower level of money. And then you were like, well, I feel kind of foolish for like the way that I was like, oh, thank you so much. Like, I mean so much to me to be supported because it then goes from like, you spent like this time, like it, it's like, especially from my point of view, I don't get that much subs in general. So like when I have a night like that, I'm like, oh, wow. Like that was like, that was a good night. Like actually like that was very productive. Like I, I made some money, like I, I hit legend. What an awesome stream, how encouraging that is. But then you find out later that it's like at a different price. And then I think other people, like, especially like if you don't get gifted subs that often, you might then say thank you even more, how much you appreciate it. And then, and then all the way in three days later, you find out they're all at like a very low price. Instead of like you're getting $100, you're now getting like $10. And $10 is awesome, but you said thank you for $100. And I think streaming is performative in a way. So I think people might also feel foolish that they said thank you so many times for I think we, we all can see that Butters yeah. is clearly very scared about this. And it just goes to, <laughs> you, know, yeah. you know, there's a lot of pain yeah. involved. You thought you got ring as cubic zirconian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 For so, me, I had no idea. And then I thought it was funny that it was six, I, my screenshot was 69% turned 
Turkish yeah. subs was was my because it goes by location. <laughs> nice. it, it was sixty nine percent. I'm like, is this is this a, a troll right now? But yeah, uh, yeah. 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 It, it was un, it was unclear. We we will never know for sure if Butters did ever say thank you, but uh, <laughs> we, we... <laughs> or if he said it with the the right amount of yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. thankness yeah, yeah. in yeah. in the voice. Yeah. Um, but this is actually kind of related to something else that happened pretty much last week was the price of pokey coins in game went up significantly in uh specifically the turkey region mm -hmm. and this might be kind of a controversial topic but whatever uh so for those that don't know or maybe did not take advantage of this uh there's a way apparently where i, I don't know if it's just android maybe you could do it on iphone i don't know i've never done this myself so i don't i don't actually know but um you essentially change your location to be based in Turkey, or at least your your app store, so that you could purchase Poke coins at a discounted rate. Essentially, if you're from, it doesn't matter. Honestly, if you're not from Turkey, it's probably a good exchange rate because um, of the currency difference. But you know, especially in the U.S., it's way cheaper to buy a hundred, like what was it, a thousand, nine hundred, nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine Poke coins, whatever, for you know their max price value. Mm. And so that's how a lot of big raiders are doing it. And look, I, I've never done it myself, but I know plenty of people that were taking advantage of it and raiding from Turkey, right? Or getting Turkish coins. And I guess Niantic's solution to that was to just jack up the price for Turkey, which unfortunately is very unfortunate for any Turkish players because uh, someone actually, um, it's B-Man Rai, the same guy that kind of did a, you know, exposed Master Warlord stuff, mm. right? So it wrote a whole like long piece on that um broke this down as well from a price standpoint and uh, so obviously it, it's really just looking at the exchange rate for the price of coins so in the u.s like if you pay nine ninety nine dollars and 99 cents for you know 14 500 coins um you get you get exactly that much back right for because it's all based on usd like exchange rate but if you look at other countries uh a lot of countries pay a decent amount more um uk yeah you you're all getting ripped off a little bit in uk right you get yeah, but um so like so like that's so, not surprising in it they, they do that on everything yeah so so anything like a uh, over a hundred dollars worth of the hundred dollar equivalency of us is kind of a ripoff so uk is at what 154 roughly but as a comparison turkey's now at almost 870 dollars worth so That's like insane. so if you're in turkey and you're trying and to I buy think the coins, so the comparison pay... actually is yeah. um how much um the average person would earn in that country right so that's like what the comparison is based on so the turkish players no are i think now it's no paying... it's an exchange rate actually i think so it's not about how much you make it's what so you're paying like... 800 dollars no, 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 no. I don't think it is, you know, because I think they've they've basically put the price of Turkish coins to the same price as American. No, no, no. no. The... So, so I'll put it this way. It's not because in Turkey, the actual dollar cost, like if let's say I fly to Turkey and I buy right. it now in their app store. Yeah. I had instead of paying a hundred dollars or nine ninety nine uh -huh. or ninety nine ninety nine for the Poke coins, I would pay one hundred twenty five dollars. Okay. So it's actually just, so it's just it's, straight up more expensive. Right, right. So in the UK, like I would have to pay 125, which is like actually it's actually right. similar to how much you would pay in the UK in Turkey, mm -hmm. but the problem is the Turkish currency is worth way less. So mm -hmm. so there so for someone in Turkey, you're essentially paying almost nine times more for your, your uh than the US. But anyway. Kind of remind me of it because Fleece King also was based in Turkey, and why would he have his device set in Turkey? in Turkey? Why would he have his device set in <laughs> Turkey, buying subs in Turkish from the App Store? Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying I he definitely did that, but a lot yeah. of big hardcore raiders, that's how they got their rate passes. Which it is unfortunate because obviously the differences in prices um, is supposed to go in line with um you know the average amount that people would earn in that country mm -hmm. um so you know where it would be fine for us to pay you know uh pay one pound for 100 coins in the uk a turkish person paying one pound for 100 coins they might 
you know, not earn the same amount mm -hmm. as we earn in the UK. So as a result, they're, you know, it feels like they're paying a lot more. And um, yeah, it feels like this move is... I don't know, man. Like, I mean, in the in light of accessibility <sighs> issues, this is not making the game more accessible. For yeah, some man. I, it, it's it's unfortunate because it's like the decision seems to be okay. Well, yeah, we're gonna you know fleece all the Turkish players, but then at least we don't <laughs> have nice, international nice choice yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, at least we don't have international players. Um, you know, paying for cheaper Poke coins. But it's like, bro, Pokecoins aren't even a real thing. Do you know what I mean, isn't it? Like, yeah. it's literally stuff that's just getting, like, you know, generated. Is it? They're not real things. So locking out um, a whole country worth of players just to do that, I don't, I don't know if that's the wave, you know. Like, I feel like maybe there are other things you can do. I, I, don't, I don't know what other things you can do, but, like, I feel like maybe there are other things you can do. But, like, yeah, man, locking out an entire country from Pokecoins. And I, I think, you know what, obviously Pokecoins are an optional, um, they're an optional purchase, right? Like, you know, no one's, you, you don't have to buy them to play the game. However, there's advantages. Um, yeah, I mean, when you look at like a lot of Master League stuff, yeah, it, there is no way you are going to be able to build a Master League Pokemon free to play. In this, in this, economy there's no way yeah free to well, play yeah, you're I not gonna be able to build. Too, right we're talking about tapu fini earlier to yeah raid them yeah. to re-roll but like if you don't raid I enough to re-roll are... who's going to give you a bunch of tapu fini for free right and you're giving them i think there are lots of bigger issues i don't think we, we probably need to go into too much detail but i really wish that poker coins were primarily for aesthetics yeah right? that you're spending mm -hmm. money on cosmetics mm -hmm. on outfits i mm -hmm. think that there is a huge accessibility issue in go and the fact that you need to spend money to to be able to raid something properly it's its own problem mm. separate to the turkey yeah, issue the reason why true. people are pushed to yeah. turkey coins is because there's huge accessibility yep. issues uh with raiding so um because you can't get it you can't get what you get for free you know like, exactly so there's, yeah. there's, there's no point blaming like there's no point blaming fleece king for this right there's oh no yeah yeah for sure that. definitely not yeah, this yeah, is yeah. uh yeah. This is a systemic issue. It is a set, and, and it's like you could blame the players that are taking advantage of the loophole, right, and raiding with Turkish coins. But like at the same time, like you said, yeah. Tomahawk, like if if raid passes weren't that relevant or in-game yeah. currency, then it wouldn't matter from a competitive standpoint. The, mm -hmm. the the thing that's a little concerning is also I know because some people are looking at the spreadsheet and they're like, oh. Well, we don't got the turkey coins anymore, but Brazil looks pretty enticing. And I heard that some people are just There's now a going. Huge to... player base in Brazil. This is I, the thing. We're like, how many is... countries are you going to cut off until you really exactly? Because you know, I think like cause, it's, uh, enough. Look, I'm not saying I'm not recommending people do this or not, but I heard uh, word on the street is some of these raiders they're now just changing their location to Brazil so that they can take advantage of those coins too, those mm. prices, which is not good because if Niantic approaches the same way they do in a couple months from now. They're jacking up the prices of all the coins in Brazil. That's like, a, I mean, there's such a huge Brazilian player base, right? Not to say there yeah. isn't one in Turkey. I just don't know of one, like a, a very large player. I mean, Brazil, Turkey, but, Brazil is definitely going to be way bigger because yeah, the country yeah. is just way bigger as well. And, yeah. Um, and we see them a bit more frequently. That could be a huge loss. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, a bit mad. it's a bit I mad. I got no tanks. All I know, I've been crushing it in GBL with all that <laughs> claim your Claim your negative set. I just saw your number four. Claim your negative <laughs> no, set. No, I'm saying okay. with Turkish subs, it's been really good luck Oh, with Turkish me. subs. That's all I got to oh, say. Oh. I've been crushing it ever since. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah. Yeah, Butters uh, would be the only person like, yo, please can come back. <laughs> yeah. Make some more subs. Yeah, I don't know. As soon as they fall off. I'm... Yeah. So where, where are we going to see you guys next? Is anyone competing soon? Anyone? Able so to... I will be commentating in Indianapolis this upcoming weekend. I actually forgot that was even happening. You know? Yeah, that's happening. That's this weekend. And you know yeah. who's going to that one? Sir Lao Jeff's trying to pump bump himself sure. up to tier five. You know, if <laughs> he wins this sir, one, yeah. could yeah, be. I think uh, that's fair. Yeah. Honestly, the NA win champions graphic would just look funny if it's just back it and forth between, yeah. between Lyle and Dune. And uh, do you know what though? I think so. Wolfie's won two two this events season. this season he got to get a um a different picture so, so i think that's just i think these go players think. need to be a bit no no no, no. the go players have different pictures but i uh, think it they? was just oh they uh, didn't use them well i think it was just the, the the decision to make it more consistent they just decided to use the same pictures because uh, they take pictures boring. of they take pictures of the top like three or top whatever players every time, every yeah. time yeah so it's not like they yeah. don't have updated pictures right it's not like Doombug 
and Lao just wore the same exact thing, right? Every yeah. time. They just, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I don't know. I think it's funnier that it's like all the same picture. You don't think so? I feel like if it's different but pictures, I, if you like, you, you know. have to double take if you don't read the names, right? If it's especially new, yeah, but but seeing the nice same person, they were in different poses, you know. You it would so? only be funny if it was the Reflect. almost exact same picture, but just slightly different in every <laughs> single one. Then it would be nice. like just holding up two. Yeah, uh, yeah like yeah. almost like a stop yeah, motion, yeah. like like a flip. Yeah. You know, you just go one to the other, yeah. and then the first. I can't wait to win a regional. I'll have Phil I have one finger up. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be my only picture ever in life. <laughs> <laughs> two yeah. sides way <laughs> uh, also we need a bit more creativity with the poses like i know they say like do just, the cross arm thing with the with the phone in your hand but well, what do you want to do it's a i don't know right? but you could do anything right you know well, you i don't think you can do anything you throw up a gang sign or something this is anything. a pokemon company but yeah you, you can't throw up gang pretty. signs okay well, well, okay like, well just come up with something why, why would that do? be the first thing what? you go to there's so many poses what's your post what's your post you're gonna do what's the post you're gonna do anacor uh you know what Generally, I think my pose is always gun finger in it. But if I call it gun finger, no, no, I I know, I know. But if I call it gun finger, they're not going to allow it. But I just won't call it gun finger. I'll be like, not going to allow it. What I'll be like, yo, it's the legend pose, isn't it's it? Not the name. It's... I'll be like, it's the legend pose from like season no, two. Or they're going to be yeah, aware that it looks like finger. a gun. No, they're going to ask you. No, to they pose. won't know his looks. They're like going to ask you to do other poses, and then they're, they're going to wipe that one off. <laughs> and you're going to be just like everyone else with. And the, then you're with just going to be crossed. Off. Yeah, you're going to be this. Nah, it's going to be you, Anacor. <laughs> I get my gum finger pose. Okay, let's worry about winning a regional first before uh, yeah, you get yeah. there. All right, let's, let's worry about making it to the grand finals. <laughs> Uh, something I talked about in terms of currency too I know Tomahawk said cosmetics is I was talking to Anacor about I was like if Pokemon Go just introduced skins for Pokemon that you use yeah man that'd be a great money maker and it doesn't give you do you think it might advantage. be confusing I think in PvP we'd maybe need yeah, to be careful PvP. I think well, in it raids it, it, can be, it, it can be anything crazy right but like if you have a Charizard wearing a hat <laughs> like it's going to still be a Charizard I'm not going to be like wait is that a town play got an with a if, yeah. if you go to the extent if you think about Unite you look at their hollow oh, yes yes Start introduce that. Be careful about PvP. You don't have to do it in PvP straight away. Yeah. But just like yeah, start start bringing Hollowware in. I think easy. if it's I think it's uh if it's easy enough to d distinguish, I think that's fine. I think also another option is you could set it so that you know how you can see best buddy ribbon or not as an option mm. when you battle someone. You can maybe just also set it so you can see their skin or not. Because if it's too distracting for you, you shouldn't have it as a hindrance, right? Yeah, but, that makes and and you should be able to increase like you should with your Pokemon. You need to be able to increase the the size of their waist, right? Or no? <laughs> <laughs> no that's a I think so. Different time for a different day, but uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna run around with the skinniest Snorlax around. <laughs> Is that much like going on? <laughs> Zap Dos turned to Zap Tress. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, anyway, uh, I think that pretty much does it for us. Great tier lists, great discussions. Um, where uh, I know Tomok asked where we're going to see us, but when's, where's the next time we're going to see you all at something? Well, good luck if you'll ever find Anacor. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> sure. I'm going to try and be at a local in a few weeks. No, he's he going to need it too. <laughs> Otherwise, he's going to be seeing the spectator yeah. stands yeah. <laughs> Quite. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm planning on uh, playing and winning Bologna. So oh, okay. Hey, you're going as well. Let's go. That's the plan. Yeah. Have you booked should... accommodation yet? <laughs> No, I haven't booked anything yet. But, I haven't booked uh, anything either, but... I'm it'll be new meta. Yeah, he'll and... be sliding into your DMs right after this recording. <laughs> I know he will be. I know he will be, yeah. Yeah, where are we staying? <laughs> uh, uh, what about you, yeah. Butters? Mr. Top 5 GBLer? You know, uh, twitch.tv slash 2 Butters. 2 Butters on Twitter. And then I plan on competing in LA, which is coming up pretty did soon. You, did so, you sign up yet? Do you know what? I'm not going to lie, right? Yeah. Yet. You know, why, why okay, so obviously, up yet? I don't understand. <laughs> Wait, you haven't signed up? Yeah, why have you like not signed a, up? I don't know. It's like a mental thing. It's like I sign up when I'm prepared. You know, I this week I'm gonna start screaming. You better not I, treat internationals like that because they just feel actually. Yeah, yeah. NAIC. So I don't think Ooh, any of you yeah, are going, yeah. right? No. But I got word that NAIC their total players is like two hundred thirty something. Why? Wait, wait. What do you mean total players? Like the cap? No, the amount of people registered. Though, dude, there's plenty of space. Really? Wait, oh, why is that so low? Because <laughs> like, they got the two the surprise. No, 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 no. It's not, they, it's not uh... that, but it's the, the surprise to the EU people. No, it's just, that's just NA tournaments. That is... That's just NA tournaments, Bruh. even internationals. Yeah. 
I I think if if let's say if EU, uh, NAIC was during EYC's time, is that like the times are swapped? Maybe you'll get more people, but I still don't think you'll have the same exci- amount of excitement. I, don't know. I feel like EUIC even if you had me. EUIC at the end of the season, I feel like it's oh, no. Still... I agree. I agree. It should be more. I think to me, just... we advertise this game as being the most downloaded game in the world ever, right? Sure is. And you're getting 230 people in NAIC. We got to do more. Well, that's, that's, <laughs> like we, that's we assuming that more. these aren't spectator spots too, because VGC and TCG sold out, so you know yeah. they're yeah. going to try to spectate. And like apparently I last year for NAIC here, I got a great example. Uh, mm-hmm. My buddy Shiny Hunter Ben did not go, but he registered. But he couldn't go last second. And at NAIC, he placed. Uh, where's it? Twenty. Oh, they don't have the record. Y'all don't have the record of it. I don't know why. Why does it say he has two Charlotte tournament runs too? That's weird. All right, we got a lot of stuff to fix. I know, y'all got a episode. lot of stuff to fix. Is what I'm, <laughs> what I'm hearing here. That is, yeah. Um, this, yeah. Let yeah, me. Uh, nice yeah, I, I think okay. I could. I could probably find it for. I, I actually thought we were on a good thingy with uh with like some of the recent. Uh, some of the recent what workings? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought know. I thought we were on good track, and then uh. No, but um, okay. So shiny, yeah, I found it right here. So shiny hunter Ben. So he he no showed, right? Oh, that's two different Charlottes. That's twenty three and twenty four. Yeah, I I saw that too. I don't know why there was oh. two different Charlottes right there too. But so wait, what? What do you mean? So well, I, don't know, I was just looking. Anyway, day one on NEIC last year, first round opponent was also no show. He wins that because it's just like coin flip, I guess. Second opponent in winners bracket, also no shows. He wins that too. <laughs> Oh. And then third opponent in the winners finals, he loses because it's actually someone that showed up, right? But don't they put the no shows together back then? To no, like, no, it's random. It out? It's random. They just didn't oh, have seating. Random. Yeah, oh, they just yeah. have seating. And then, Wait. and then in the losers bracket round four, his opponent's also a no show. So I don't know why his opponent just didn't show up. I don't know what happened, but he got the win Went for it. Three his, two. His opponent was there, and then, uh, yeah, he went three two. He probably would have got championship points from that, right? Yeah, he 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 over a hundred something probably if if there were championship <laughs> points back then. He went three two <laughs> off a of buys for a no yeah, show. Yeah, nerd. pretty crazy. But I think also like I, I mean I, I think this year at least um, the people doing the bracket have been pretty good about um, you know people who don't have submitted deck lists or like are known to not be there they'll put like little asterisks around them and make sure they're on like you know the bottom end <laughs> of the bracket so so what are you <laughs> holding <laughs> so uh, duster <laughs> dude but cephalon is ready for action here <laughs> oh he's ready <laughs> that should be your next cosplay <laughs> You already oh, got the dope. makeup and clown kits ready no, I'm, uh, honestly i'm a big fan of this duster yeah i can't lie like, <laughs> does the job. Does the yeah. job. Are you, it um, doesn't seem like it does anything. It's just on your desk. There's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. dust in my desk. Uh, um, anyway, 230 yeah, something for NAIC, which is a little unfortunate. Hopefully more yeah, show up. But honestly, if, if, if the number increases, my guess is that's just going to be people that are buying spectator tickets at a, at a mm. Pokemon Go value. The good thing is seating at least would get rid of some of that stuff too. Like you're mm. not going to have like... A, typically the no-shows are going to be lower seated or... Or just yeah. like if they just bought spectator spectator tickets, so they have no seating, so they'll probably just give a few buys to like high rank players. But yeah, and yeah. NAIC is the last opportunity to qualify for Worlds. I really hoped that it was going to be the biggest event we'd ever. Hey, have. you should show up. Yeah. I, I, I like I, I I don't have enough leave at this uh, point. Okay. I've gone to especially if I cast as well, where I have to take even more annual leave. Yeah, Worlds. I'm taking like three weeks off. It's just like I don't have three any weeks hour. off. Really. Well, flying from London to Hawaii, doing Worlds, and then going to do a road trip down West Coast US. So, oh, you are oh yeah. West Coast US. Okay, well, that's yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. that cool. Uh, that's that's. Well, if you stop by LA, priority. let me know. Or, I will uh, do. I will be. We'll be in LA at some. Yeah. Point. yeah. Or Northern uh, California. Don't know if I'll, don't know if we'll get that far, but okay. <laughs> right. understood. Understood. Yeah. Wait, wait. What do you mean? If you won't get that far, where are you even going? So the plan is huge. Yeah, it's no, it's no, like, but like surely if you're south to north, it's like twelve hours. <laughs> yeah, but surely if you're like in LA, which is the southernmost point, then you can only go up, right? 
No, San yeah, Diego well, no. is the southernmost point. So you can go even oh, yeah. s- more south from, oh, okay. from Where Los about Angeles. to you based? Butters, where about to you based? I'm in Northern California. I'm like East Bay right now. So like east of San Francisco. Okay. So, well, actually, I might be close to you then. The plan oh, is to okay. go to San Fran, uh, to, to fly from Hawaii to San Fran, yeah, go sense. up to Lake Tahoe. Oh, go okay. Down to Yosemite, Sequoia, LA, and then all the way across to Grand Canyon. Vegas fly home. Well, Let me know when you come by LA. Maybe I'll. Maybe there will be a local round. I could. I could send you a link to. And uh, yeah, uh, what in the middle of August? I'll be done with Pokemon by then. <laughs> what do you mean? It'll, it'll be. be it'll be for. It'll be for next year's championship points. Oh, Everything no. after July. I'll be is... so done. So done with Pokemon by then. Kick, kick off the. Uh, kick off the. The new year, right? You know. It, it will be. Um. I'll be. When do we get the new meta? It'll be at the end of August. So that's all I'll be thinking about. My yeah. content will just be discussing meta changes. But yeah, so you know how much I love it. Uh, that's fair. That's fair. Um, yeah, because after so July, none of the, or I think it's June is the cutoff for championship points. So nothing, I guess, like anything happening in June doesn't count for anything, um, outside like NAIC and like the actual tournaments. And then I think, and I think July first is when championship points start counting for next season. So you have locals, True. you can start going because I know some people. I remember last year, right before like our first regional in NA Pittsburgh. I was like, how oh, these people have 300 points already? Like, what the heck? Like they're already yeah. almost qualified. But uh, uh, in my mind, if you're a world player, just let everyone else get some championship points in August, take a break, come back in September. That's, that's my, say that's my, my, my approach. Locals. I'm going to all of them. <laughs> I get a head start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah i'll hit you guys up if if, if you're gonna be around for sounds, sure. good. sounds good sounds good uh okay well anyway uh I, I think you all mentioned a couple times so where specifically can people find you if they're trying to find more of your comment uh content tomahawk yeah twitch.tv slash tomahawk uk uh i'm focusing mostly on supporting newer players to get into the game focus on accessibility inclusivity and really going over a lot of the basics i'll prioritize both normal pvp and show six uh, and then a couple of days a week, I'll also just have some fun streams and chat. So, uh, fastest growing channel in Pokemon Go history. So, uh, nice. Just, uh, yeah. <laughs> what about yeah, you, too, that, Butters? Wait, yeah. oh, one key thing to note is Tomahawk on Twitter slash X is Tomahawk under dash UK. You yes, know how many times UK. I've typed yeah. in Tomahawk UK and just goes to this random other, you know, who, who is, is like account? sunglasses, the real account. Account. Okay. It's know. like a parody account that I've actually reported to Twitter in an attempt <laughs> to get the tag. <laughs> what did you report it? Impersonating someone famous? <laughs> I don't even know. I'm just going to keep that before, reporting to be it. Honest, where yeah, my yeah. stuff was. <laughs> yeah. Tomahawk Shades UK. Yeah, exactly. I need them to sponsor me. Yeah. We put the Mahawk in Tomahawk. It just makes, and they're a parody Man. account, and they've not tweeted in a long time. Yeah, so, nods. yeah, Tomahawk <laughs> underscore UK on Twitter. I wonder uh, what they even parody. Tomahawk UK on Twitch. I don't know. And uh, yeah, same. Twitch.tv slash Tua Butters. And if you're into Gudra tweets, that's literally all I'm tweeting recently. So if you're into that, <laughs> follow me there. <laughs> yeah, Butters, any homework time for you? Sign up for the LA Regional, which already has 108 players. And then let's go. Um, and don't breathe the I'm job. starting my scrims this week, so uh All right. Yeah. Let's go. All right. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Uh anyway, thank you all for tuning in. And if you hate our tier list, let Anacor know. Uh, <laughs> peace out. Let me know. I'll be sure to not read it. <laughs> yeah.